Hey, good morning. Jason here at the auction. We rescued 35 horses last night. And I am absolutely just blown away by rescuing 35 horses. It's a huge number. Couldn't have done it without your support. We're not done needing your support. So, you know, if you can help out this morning. Um, anybody can rescue 30 or donate $35. One for every horse we rescued last night. That would just be awesome. So, it's time to start the uh, assessment. It's going to take a little bit. I think it might be an hour or two. I don't know, but uh, Corey and Caitlin are up holding horses, waiting for Tawny to get done with what she's doing. This is one of the horses. Look how skinny this poor horse is. Well, good morning, Hobby Horse and Anna and Meg. All righty. Yeah, skinny horse. How you doing this morning, Corey? You look tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working on waking up. Uh, we got back to the hotel about 2 o'clock in the morning this morning. Corey says that uh, he's tired because he didn't get back to the motel till about 2 o'clock this morning, and we're back at it again. At, we got down at 7.30. Yep, so. Poor horse has got a little boo-boo above the eye. Yeah, it's quite boogery. Yep. Oh, look at the boogery side. This eye looks clumsy. Someone just donated 20 CHF. I don't remember what CHF money is, but thank you so much. Well, it's actually worth more than the U.S. because it's $22. Yes, so awesome. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that, Daisy. Tawny's getting something done on her uh, phone. Posting the link. Posting the link to YouTube Live on Facebook. See if it uh, jumps up once I post it. Well, we have 101. It's jumping up pretty fast anyway. Good morning, Jennifer. Haley's over here. She's got plenty of sleep last night. She got almost four hours, so should be good to go. Probably two. Oh, two hours. Really? Well, between you and your sister, you got four hours of sleep. Oh, yeah. How about that? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> they're a little, uh, they're not fortunate, um, but they do get to sleep yeah, on the way back. Show people this horse real quick. This is the one that had the halter that was down. Ah, yes. Um, this is the one. And uh, maybe it has a bow tendon or something on one But leg, look at this. This. This there. poor horse, it uh, had a halter on when it was a baby, and it grew into its face, and, didn't, and so it's permanently baby. disfigured. Yep. Okay. I am so yeah, ready. do we have anybody watching from Florida? I'm just curious. And how y'all handling the uh, storm down there? But yeah, we rescued 35 horses last night. Tawny's going to be taking the photos, and uh, what's really awesome, I'm going to beam up here for a second. We've got Dr. Nancy and Mary Ellen, who uh, we've met a couple times at the Navajo trips, helping out on the Indian Nation. They are here doing our vet work for us this morning. Yeah, 35 is spectacular. So, hoping somebody will donate $35 in honor of the 35 horses that we saved. Jennifer, we rescued 35. And I assume we're going to see them all except for one. One of them was the uh, victim of the poor laws here in Tennessee. I think I can say that. It was uh, somebody decided to geld it right after the auction. And it had a testicular hernia. And the guts were coming out. It was bad. Tennessee has an antiquated law that people can geld a an animal. Just castrate mean, an animal. Castrate an animal um, without being a veterinarian. So there's a lot of backyard horse gelding happening. Um, and it's really sad about the law. It's so antiquated. Somebody could literally take a dog and, and perform surgery on that dog without any pain medicine and it's considered okay under the law. And it's just so upsetting. And there was a horse that was lost, um, you know, we thankfully they came when they knew it was it was there was major problems and we were able to get the horse but it had to be put down and it's all because tennessee has antiquated laws allowing people to castrate animals without being a veterinarian gelding horses dog castrating dogs donkeys should only be done by a veterinarian 100 percent Yep, so here's the horse Corey was holding. And so, uh, we're, Tawny's down here. We're going to be getting the pictures. And y'all get to meet the horses. And then they're going up to Dr. Nancy. There's not great cell service up there. How is the quality? 
I'm just curious, how's the uh, video and audio quality this morning? But, um, yeah, no one understands, Jennifer. Uh, no one understands at all. So I've got 230 people watching. We got a lot of, lot of horses like this last night. Skinny. I mean, I don't even where where did they all come from? No one knows. Ah, so normal. Okay. A little blurry at times. We're doing the assessment back where we originally used to do it, and we're hoping that they're self service. But ah, uh, they put metal everywhere, which is nice for working when it's raining or hot. But, uh, yeah, no, actually, um, Megan, literally the law in Tennessee says that you can perform a castration on your animal or your employer's animal without being a licensed veterinarian. It's not considered a veterinarian procedure. And it doesn't define dog. And it doesn't say, it doesn't define the animal. It just says animals. So any animal legally, unless there's another law, any animal legally... All right, so the cats, I don't know where exactly the cats came from. I got here to the auction, like, we already have two cats. I'm like, why are we getting cats? They're like, because they needed us and they were free. So, yeah, so we have a couple cats. Uh, these are some of the horses that, are, uh, that we rescued last night. Look how skinny this beautiful horse is. So I don't know if we got any standard breads or not. We got a lot of horses last night. So yeah, unfortunately, Marlene, it's, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, that's just sad. Um, I wish we had better internet. I'm going to still be working on a solution. I thought I had a solution, and uh, the solution didn't work. So This is another one of the skinny horses we got. This is a cute little happy. So we have a little jack donkey. I don't know if you can tell. And uh, his name is Steve. Uh, thank you, Down and Dirty, for donating $35. Super appreciate it. This is a very thin group. We do have a lot of thin horses. Definitely have a lot of thin horses. Yeah, Steve is a, Steve is a cool little donkey. And uh, then, of course, in my sense of humor, I'm like, I wonder what his last name is. <sighs> anyway. Yes, we did rescue a couple drafts last night. Corey, did you see any standard breads last night? Yes, we got one. Oh, we got one standard bread. Cool. Alrighty, somebody's asking. Huh, what's her name, Meg? We'll have to see. Katya. Katya, did I pronounce that right? Who is Alan? Where is Alan? I don't know who Alan is, so I don't know where Alan is. Katya. Well... Alrighty, that one's cruising on. Corey's just got to get a lead rope, get the next horse. Oh, look at that, he already got a lead rope. Portal wife, I did not. Um, let me scroll on up. Um, how many horses did I put down? One horse last night. A couple drafts. Um, portal Wi-Fi. 
a portable Wi-Fi router. We'd have to have Wi-Fi for a portable Wi-Fi router to work. So we need a, a cell phone based solution and we could easily just order one tomorrow. It'd be like a hundred bucks a month. So yeah, we're looking for a better solution. Angela, thank you so much. $5 donation. Super appreciate it. Yep. 35 horses. So anybody can donate $35 in honor of the 35 horses. Yeah. But yeah, look at this. This horse is thin. I wish I could take after the horses. Maybe not this thin. That'd be sad. So I was walking up here to show you all the horses. And I got distracted because uh, Tony was taking pictures of one of them. And uh, let's see. Yes, I had stopped at the Appy. So this poor Appy. Probably an older Appy. And then uh, one that's actually not super starving looking. Oh, come on. Show us your ribs. There we go. Oh, hi, bud. And then on this side, we've got one of the draft horses we rescued. Oh, thank you so much. Will not go quietly for being a monthly supporter. And then here's the other draft horse we rescued. He's like, I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Thank you, Angela, so much for your $10 donation. Super appreciate that. The good thing about donating on YouTube is they give 100% of the donation to us. So you can donate with your credit card. You get the points. We get 100% of the money. So that's really awesome. How's the horse doing with the face deformity? Well, uh, where is he? Ah, here he is. Corey's, Corey's getting him out next. Vancouver Vixen, thank you for your $10 donation. So, I mean, he's, he's doing. He or she. Thank you. Um, the, the tendon is probably blown on the front leg. Yeah. All right, so it's a mare. So, she is not doing very well. She's got leg problems. We saw her, the halter was super skinny. Like She's we got a hole in her long. face where a halter grew in when she was younger. And she just needs some love. Jennifer, thank you so much for donating $35. Super appreciate that. But yeah, you can see as she walks, she just doesn't, doesn't walk normal. Um, she can breathe normally as far as I know. We haven't but Corey, breathing, but Corey says distressful breathing. We, Corey says distressed breathing. I heard some of it last Definitely a yeah, little injury down there. Definitely if she was excited or, you know, working hard, it would compromise her airway probably. So it's just, ah, uh, this is what happens folks when you put a halter on a baby and you leave it on and it grows into the face. 100% preventable, 100% horrible. So, ah, oh, hey, Jacob is like, uh, he, he's, he was here last night, and he says, thank you for letting him help last night. Well, Jacob, your help last night was uh, helpful for us, too. Mm. All righty. She looks young, too, probably. Yep, two or... So this is a baby, just two or three years old, hot trigger in the face. They're like, well, it's just dump her. And uh, if she didn't have a, I mean, you can see. If she didn't, her, if yeah, her legs her, were a problem, this might be something we could. Her right, her right leg is just swollen and messed up. Left one drops unnaturally. It's just, it's like she's a mess. Whoa, Donna donated $140 Canadian. Ooh, thank you so much. Is the deformity in the face fixable? No. So to fix that, you would have to do reconstructive uh, cosmetic surgery, basically. And uh, it's not something that we're going to be able to do for her. And her, her, the face is a problem. Her legs are a bigger issue. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Vancouver Vixen says, that paint is a disaster. Are there horse plastic surgeons? I'm sure there's somebody out there that wouldn't mind taking the money. I'm just saying there's, there's people who will take money for just about anything. Um, and I mean, something like that would be pretty cool if it could be done well and it wouldn't compromise the uh, health of the horse, but she's got too many other things. Can we see the cats at some time? 
Cats are definitely going to be in the episode. Um, I have a picture of them. Tani's got a picture of them. She could pull up if, uh, <laughs> if she wanted to delay the progress of getting the 35 horses assessed. So, this horse is just chill, just waiting. So skinny. But look, look at the hole in the side of this horse. Dehydrated, no food. Like their bodies are already breaking down, they're internal, like the I mean, just organs, yeah. everything. But when there's every you see this huge dip and it's, it's sunken, it's usually because they're extremely dehydrated, and you can tell that by pinching and standing there, and that's just a little bit, and it just sits there. That's very dehydrated horse, and then it's just sucked up. Yeah, so yeah, uh, Meg, there's horse chiropractors, there's horse massage therapists, there's uh, I've heard a horse psychiatrist, I do believe. You ever heard of horse psychiatrist, Corey? I got a horse behavioralist that can tell you the whole horse's life from when they hit the ground to now. Horse communicators, yes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard some interesting stuff about them. I've heard that like some people, they, they swear by them and they say, yeah. like, there's no way this person would have been able to know this about this horse. Who knows? There's some, there's some crazy stuff out there. Yep. If you can point out how skinny it is, or you can see the bone in the chest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to have fat and muscle through there. And uh, this poor horse. <sighs> so sad seeing body scores of ones and twos. Oh, y'all are still taking photos. Yeah. I thought they were done. I'm getting yelled at. Did you all hear that verbal? No, they're just asking me nicely to move. Over 500 people watching. So that is super, super nice. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. And uh, Caitlin's supposed to be getting the horse and coming back with the lead rope. But um, Jason being a photo bomb. I know. Just getting in the way again. Yep. But look at this, y'all. Horses had nice clean water. I mean, pretty clean. Not like, you know, sterile clean, but. The horses had water last night. It's dehydrated. It can take a while. Because it is so important for horses in this condition to get rehydrated before we start dumping food down them. Will we be able to rehydrate the horse? Well, I mean, we're going to do our best. It's going to be up to the horse. They all had access to water last night, so it just takes time. We haven't had a donation in a minute, y'all. Um, anybody else able to donate $35 in honor of the 35 horses that we rescued last night? These are just some of them. I'm going to uh, cruise on up here. I know the service gets really poor up here. But we've got Dr. Nancy and vet graduate Mary Ellen. Uh, thank you, Gail, for donating $35 to, the, to our website. Super appreciate that. All right, Corey's back to get another horse. Yeah, no, you're doing good. Thanks. Corey is a... Oh, here with the Palomino, skinny Palomino. Just kind of going to work our way down the line here. And, uh, All right. Get to the end of this line. We're going to go over here, get these pants figured out, and then work our way towards the front. Nice. All right. Chris donated $50. I'll make it donated $5 Canadian. Thank you guys so much. We didn't rescue any mules this time, uh, Meg. So. so this horse's tail tendon has been cut, and its rear end is all messed up. Most likely, that's all from doing the big leg. I think they tried saying this was the one they called it a sidewinder during the auction, and uh, he can't walk straight. And just because the big leg is also legal here in Tennessee, yeah, I kind of feel like we're just stuck in the middle of horrible laws that's out here. Why we're here. That's why we came. And that's. Yep, so uh, that's why we're here, though, is to help these horses. If 
Vancouver Vixen, thank you so much for your $20 donation. You guys are amazing. Valerie Tackett, thank you so much for your $10 donation. All right, poor horse. All right, I'm gonna try not to photobomb Tawny again. I hang out here, got a little happy friend to hang out here with. Uh, sorry if there's any interruption by a cell phone booster. Yeah, I think that might work, Art. Um, we have one at the office. I'm just thinking out loud here. I think we have another system somewhere. I'll have to look into that. That might work because they do have power out here. So I just have to figure out a way to get power and uh, get a cell phone booster. I'll try that. I'll see if I can get that figured for next month. That'd be awesome. Then, then it just worked really good. Yep. Um, a 110 battery pack. Run a ba cell phone booster for a couple hours. That could work. Can you talk about that horse some more? So, the horse that was just here, Palomino, barely walk on its hind end. Um, first question I had is its tail tendon cut. Because in Tennessee, showing big lick horses, they cut the tendon tail to basically crank its tail up to make it look fancy. And um, its tail tendon is cut. And then that goes right in hand with its back end being completely out of whack because they start these horses when they're not even, I mean, they're showing them when they're two performing the big lick, but uh, younger than that, we've seen bulls that are, you know, just a handful of months old being ridden in stacks and chains and blinders. And these horses, aren't designed. The big lick is a completely artificial gait. Horses are not designed to do this and they literally fall apart. And that's what, that's horse right there. It's yeah. classic. We've, I've seen it time and time and time again and it's infuriating. Um, Meg, could you post up the donation links for Anna? She asked, how do I donate $35? Uh, Lucy, uh, thank you so much for your five, five pounds. I think it's pounds. PJ, thank you for your $50 Canadian. We're up to $360, everybody. Thank you so much for your donations. Oh, Caitlin's got a horse here for us. Somehow, Caitlin has worked herself into being absolutely invaluable here at the auction. And that's a good way to be. Honey, getting the photos she needs. Uh, hello, Aaron. Thank you so much for loving our videos and watching. We've got over 600 people watching now. Really can't hear Tawny. No, you can't hear Tawny basically when she talks unless I'm close to her. So um, the microphone she's wearing is for Horse Red Shelter Heroes. Yep. Um, so she's got issue. Let's turn her back. Oh, good, sir. I was asking if anybody's from Florida that's watching. And, and uh, oh, good. I'm glad that the quality's better. Next month, we're going to do everything we can. Ooh, I can see it. That's not normal. No, definitely not normal, unfortunately. Pictures. <sighs> You're in Orlando, Florida. How y'all doing down in Orlando, Valerie? Yeah, little cockle birds. They're so fun to brush out. WD-40, mane and tail, detangler, four hours, get them get done. Ah, oh, Daisy, thank you so much for donating $35. We're up to $400 a race so far. People are awesome. You want to tell them thank you? I'm doing numbers right now. She's doing numbers. All right, Corey's bringing out my little happy buddy. Thank you. My little happy buddy I was hanging out with. Do we accept Bitcoin? I don't know. I don't know if we accept Bitcoin. I mean, I'm sure we can. If we we can. 
Well, we can totally accept Bitcoin. I just. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Corey's asking if it's a full Bitcoin or if it's a part of a Bitcoin. I am Bitcoinless, but Horse Plus as a charity can certainly accept Bitcoin. Stocks, bonds, real estate, automobiles, anything that can be donated can be donated to Horse Plus. Thank you so much, Anna, for your $35 donation. Uh, Johnson Johnson Baby Detangler. Is this when you have too many kids and they're stuck in a crib and you got to get them apart? You put baby detangler on it. Anyway. Ooh, a full Bitcoin. Boy, that would be a huge, awesome donation. So CHF is first Swiss franc. Yeah. That would be awesome. So, um, yeah, if you can, if you can um, email me, Monica, jason at horsehumane.org, we can certainly get donating a Bitcoin figured out. I'm not sure how the IRS views donating Bitcoin, if you're able to deduct what it was worth when you donated it, or how exactly it works. Dad jokes, yeah, okay, I got a horse joke for y'all. All right, let's go find a horse. Okay, we're gonna go find a big horse. So why couldn't the pony sing very good? Yeah. Hey, buddy, this one's sleeping. Why, why, can't the po why doesn't the pony sing very good? Why didn't the pony sing very good, Corey? Because he was a little horse. Oh, because he was a little horse, of course. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but, yeah. Where's Dr. Nancy? Did she? Nope, Dr. Nancy's up here. So, if I walk up here, the video quality's going to get poor. I don't think it's going to disconnect. But you can see Dr. Nancy up here. She is the one doing all the hard work. Corey's just holding a horse, which thankfully he's uh, awake enough to do that barely. That's the one I told you yesterday, Jason, right before he left for the auction. You're supposed to remember which one you told me. I know it. Was it a horse joke? No. No, it wasn't, but oh, I thought it, it was, was good. good. It was good, and I remember last time we got it. Oh, yeah. So, originally, there was only 25 letters in the alphabet. Nobody knew why. Uh, that's pretty bad one, that's pretty good that's pretty good all right all right so uh so it was christmas break right and uh this mom asked her little kindergarten kid oh how many letters are there he's like 25 she's like no there's 26 he said no there's only 25 now she's like why he's like because i learned the song no well <laughs> oh dear okay well, I didn't lose any viewers over the bad, joke, joke, bad dad joke episode, so I'm not sure where Tawny went. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's over there hanging out with a cow. So um, Peyton, this is also kind of funny. Peyton from Christian Farms and her mom were here last night, and we love when they hang out with us. And uh, they're like, yeah, we had somebody call us up and be like, we want to adopt your blue roan in the pasture. And she's like... We don't have a blue roan in the pasture. If we had a blue roan, oh boy, it's getting no noisy around here. These are yaks. Yeah, it's next week is the exact sale. So if y'all want to see a yak, this is a yak. We did not, we did not get these yaks. Yeah, a whole row of yaks. Huh, fascinating animals. You going to say hi to us this morning, buddy? I think you're saying you'd rather get out of that pen and kill me, but... Mm, anyway, maybe they'll get us a horse up here to do the photos on. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Just want to thank everyone for your support. Um, this is a, a, a rough auction to... So many horses that need help. So the horse that had to be put down last night, the auction is going to uh, bury it. So anyway, okay, so Peyton was I'm sitting here waiting. I guess I'll turn around and tell you all a story. So Peyton was hanging out with us last night, and she's telling us that they had somebody call him up, and they're like, we want to adopt the blue roan in your front pasture. And she's like, blue roan? We don't have a blue roan. And 
person's like, no, you have a blue Rona, and your front passenger would like to adopt it. She's like, ma'am, if I had a blue Rona in my front pasture, wouldn't be there anymore because I'd already have adopted it out. They were very insistent, and the person on the phone is like talking to somebody else. That was a blue roan in their pasture, right? And they're like, yeah, that's definitely a blue roan. So uh, Peyton's like, wait a minute, are you sure that wasn't a cow? And the phone went silent for a few minutes. They're like, well, I guess it was kind of stocky. So <laughs> she had somebody calling her up wanting to adopt a blue roan horse that was actually a blue cow. So anyway, poor Peyton. But we all <laughs> we all want to see horses. Where's the oh here we go. Corey's getting the horse out for us. All right. <clears throat> this is the one that was actually kind of up to weight. It's over seven hundred people watching. Almost seven hundred fifty people watching. Yeah, if we had all seven hundred and twenty of you guys uh, actually here with us, it'd be a little crowded. So, glad you guys are able to watch. I'll be at the somewhat blurry, unfortunately. A little horse. People are still laughing over that little horse joke. Maybe I should tell it again. Nah. Just shove us in the pens, right? Uh, we, could, we could fit you in there. It was, it was a hard auction, Melissa, definitely. Um, so... I wasn't planning on rescuing 35 horses when I got here last night. I was planning about 20. Tony said maybe, you know, we could rescue a few more. So we got to 10, you know, and I'm, I'm keeping track of the horses in, the, uh, in my little spreadsheet. Get to 10 really fast. I think we rescued the first 10 or 11 horses that came through the ring. They're all just skinny and like they all just needed help. And uh, then we got to 20. Tony's like, Keep going. Got to 30. I'm like, Tani, we've rescued 30. She's like, keep, keep going. So here's, this is another big lick. PayPal, PayPal works great. Thank you so much, um, Naomi. And uh, ended up with 33 horses on the auction receipt. And they're like, oh, we didn't get one on. So then it was 34. And then young guy comes back. He's like, the horse I got, the stallion I got, we uh we were gelding it and something came out. It's like, uh, Dr. Nancy, let's go check it out. And uh, this horse had a testicular hernia and hanging out of where they literally tied the horse up and, and chopped it to geld it. Hanging out was, was intestine. And Dr. Nancy's like, that horse is dead. She's like, there's no way that it could survive what's happening to it. And that is actually legal here in the state of Tennessee to tie your horse up and castrate it without being a veterinarian. No pain meds, nothing. Now he said he gave it xylazine, but nothing. Like, xylazine isn't gonna, what you need for gelding surgery. So, mm, that was number 35. And it was horrific. And I've seen a lot in 20 years. And that was in the top 10, so. You'll, we'll have some, we'll, we'll tell the story in the episode more. But uh, we're still we're still processing. We're still processing it. Just, just horrific. And that Tennessee allows people to tie up an animal and cut its testicles off is just horrifying. Um, yeah. Because the way the law is written, it says animal. If you own the animal or your employer owns the animal, you can just go in there and hack away. And if something goes wrong and the horse dies, well. Uh, it was an, uh, you know what I don't, yeah, yeah, it's so Laws horrible. Laws need to be changed in Tennessee. I've been saying this for years. It's antiquated and we see suffering and agony because these laws <coughs> don't protect these animals. <coughs> so if anybody um, wants to do a Google search for me, uh, Meg's all like, all right, pulling up another tab, google.com. I'm wondering in how many states it's legal to castrate your own animal, but where um, castration is not considered a veterinarian procedure. <laughs> Ah, this one makes Caitlin look little. Corey would make this horse look normal. So yeah, I think I think the Google search. I should have done this, but the Google search would be, uh, in what laws 
Is castration not considered a veterinarian procedure? I need to move again. I need to move again. Okay, and I'll just walk him forward and I'll get the back picture. Alright, that's good. Let's stop the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin said it's like trying to stop a bus. Why well, you just need good brakes if you're trying to stop a bus? Oh, just have the oh no brakes, just drag your feet Flintstone style. Alright, you're, you're good. Alright. Um, so specifically livestock across the nation. It might not be a super easy Google search. It may not be an easy Google search, but, um, I know. I have somebody to get us. Can you please make a TikTok account? We have a TikTok account. It's Horse Humane on TikTok. Um, trying to remember how TikTok does that. I think it's tiktok.com forward slash at sign Horse Humane, if I remember right. Oh, Shannon, thank you. Uh, congratulations, two years uh, free from cancer next month. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, Corey's getting a pretty gray horse. Here. Probably, probably a little Arab cross or maybe a full-on Arab. Yeah, I know we wish we could hear Dr. Nancy. I wish I could hear Dr. Nancy, too. But, um, Watch the episode next week. Watch the episode. Yeah. You'll Haley notice Haley is, is up there doing her, her job. That's, that's where you got to watch the episode. And remember, when you're watching those episodes, the ads g generate revenue to help the horses. 100%. All righty. Pretty gray horse. Hopefully hopefully there's no cancer in this horse. I'm going to take uh, a peek so at it. So it's got black skin. This is Moravian. Uh-huh. That, Did they do better? They do better. Cool. No, you wouldn't be in trouble if you castrated a dog, Oz, um, because the law simply says animal. Ah, uh, Sandy's grand girls, Sandy Sweeties donated twenty dollars. Thank you so much. This horse reminds me a lot of one of the first horses we rescued. Uh, gypsy. Gypsy. Yep. I know, I know. Ta we rescued. So we're hanging out at my parents' place in Berry Creek, California. This was many years ago. This is over twenty years ago, and. Uh, this horse just came walking in their yard. Now, mind you, they live on a paved road. They lived on a paved road. And um, this horse, this gray raven, just came walking into the front yard. And uh, nobody knew whose it was. And, yeah, <laughs> that was Tani's personal horse for a while. And, unfortunately, he's... Couldn't adopt him out. Yeah. We named him Gypsy because he just came walking in the yard. Did barrels on him and everything, and um, we lived up in the high, high mountains of Northern California. And we had this horrible storm come, and it froze, and he slipped in the ice and broke his hip, and I had to say goodbye. Yep. He, I saw him earlier, and I was like, "Oh, that reminds me of Gypsy." So it's kind of crazy. Jason said it too. So, um, Kelly, the person owned the horse when they gelded it, and then they actually sold him to us. So, yeah. It was his own horse. It was legal. Ooh, okay. Corey is, uh, Corey's getting his steps in this morning. Alrighty, well, definitely we're, uh, you know, we're, we're concerned about Florida. There's a huge storm hitting down there, and uh, hopefully the animals are okay. More importantly, hopefully the people are okay, but... And if you call and talk to um, Christy, who takes donations for us over the phone, Angela does auction night, but Christy, if you call during the week, she'll typically um, take your donations uh, over the phone. Her daughter just flew down there for school, so Christy is worried sick. We've been praying that uh, her daughter will be okay because the storm is lined up right to go over where her daughter is. And I know there's a lot of other folks and fans that are down there, so... Our thoughts are definitely with Florida. Definitely. All right, here comes Corey. Corey going to get another horse for us. I bet he's going to grab that draft horse right there. Since I said that, he's going to get the donkey. Oh, Corey's going for the farthest horse and working his way forward. And so that means that very likely he's getting a horse from down there somewhere. Okay, there they are. I'm like, I can't even see horses. I could probably, ooh, little, uh, little Arabs, a little rearing business down there. Well, this isn't terribly much farther past the, uh,
That's the draft horse. I'll hold the gate for you just in case this horse suddenly, for whatever reason, turns wild and runs away. But, ah, fairy's on here now. All right. Ah, oh, so skinny. Oh, so sad. Just a rack of bones with skin stretching over the skeleton. I think that's about the only way to describe it. Silver Star, welcome. Glad you're here. Um, Sue, go ahead and call Covering the Leaf. A couple years ago, he uh, said that the um, Big Lick was a rich Tennessee tradition and everyone should go visit the celebration. And when he posted that on his Facebook, the backlash was so intense so immediate and so strong that I haven't heard him say a single thing about the big lick since. I'm not saying he hasn't, but I haven't heard it. How many horses do we have at the main shelter? Ah, we got, um, I don't remember. Yeah, around 50. Is this the standard bread? Is that a standard bread? So there's a, uh, anybody wants to look up that brand for us? Yes, please do so. Look up the one a 740 eh? and see who this horse is. You can just Google uh, standard bread brand search on Google and you put in those numbers and then let Jason know what it says and how old the horse is. That would be very helpful. One a 740 is what it looks like to me. Okay, you good? Yep. Oh, you're not asking me. No. Nah. No one cares if Jason's good. Well, some people yeah. care, but. No, nope, he's uh, just making sure Tani got the photo she needs. That's good. And maybe you can tell us what his Corey got me. Oh, oh. We have it up there. Anime Wolf, thank you for your $5 donation. That's right. pinfire. So what is that you're asking? That is pinfire, and that is where they inject stuff. Uh, well, the, no, no, it's uh, burning. But burning. just go ahead and Google it. Yeah. That's all pinfiring. Google pinfiring. Yep. Um, that is, that is okay. not natural. Oh, Terry, well, I'm sorry you're sick. I'm glad you're watching. I mean, if you're sick, you might as well be watching Horse Plus Rescue Horses, so. I know everybody cares about me. And it's, it's live. I mean, you don't get better than that, you know. We, put out the we don't know TV, what's going to happen. It's a weekly TV show, and it's edited and hmm. scripted. And not really scripted. It's just edited. Unscripted. It's unscripted, but it's what happens. We just yep. film what happens. Here, we don't know. Yeah. We could have a horse down there start jumping around. All right, pin firing, also known as thermo something, is the treatment of an injured horse's leg by burning, freezing, or dusting with acid or caustic chemicals. This doesn't sound good. But it prolongs their racing, so they do it when... Keep, it keeps them I racing mean, longer. Any time there's money to be made with animals, there is suffering. Yeah. And, um, you know, whether it's factory farming, we're showing some sports are worse than others, and when they don't want anyone around to see then you know it's really bad. Um, but pin firing is typically done with a veterinarian, so at least that part's good. Um, and it prolongs, like, so they're starting to have issues with their racing, and so if they pin fire them, they can prolong their racing career until they end up at places like this. Yep. So, yeah, hopefully somebody, they said that the uh, search is looking, asking for the uh, 1A740. Um, whoa, hey, yeah, some people are happy that they, uh, um, all right, Meg says she found it. Okay, what's it say? Um, Lone Pine Andy, 2003. Lone Pine Andy? Uh, 2003, so 20 years old. Lone Pine Andy, Lone Pine Andy, yep. All right, thank you guys, you're like the best internet sleuths in the world. All right, good job. Well, AMS, thank you so much. Um, I hear about needing a replacement credit card. These things get lost, stolen, expire. Oh, what a pain when a credit card expires and all of a sudden all your subscriptions stop working, right? Because who actually keeps track of their subscriptions? Auto pay? And it's auto pay. And then it stops working and all of a sudden you go to watch Hulu and it don't work or you go to flip on the light and it don't work. And you're like, oh, my credit card expired. So anyway, 
First world problems, they say. So he's 20 years old. Yep, he was born in 2003. 800 people, yay. All right, 800 people, $425 donated. So you guys are awesome. If uh, anybody could donate $35 because we rescued 35 horses last night, I'd super duper appreciate it. Ah, oh, this horse has no good brakes too, huh? Ah, oh, look at this little, little bu buckskin, yes. Gorilla. Ah, oh, beautiful. I do like it. Oh, well, no wonder she wants to go where she wants to go. so bizarre. What's so bizarre? Tani says it's so bizarre. She has a bad injury that ripped her whole back end up at one point. Oh, that's horrible. Scar, but her dorsal stripe is healed crooked. Well, that's bizarre. Did you see that her dorsal stripe, Corey? What's that? Her dorsal stripe is healed crooked from where her, she had an injury. So her dorsal stripe goes down and then it's peeled over from this big injury she had. So oh, wow. it's, her dorsal stripe I've is I've never bad. seen that before. Yeah, it's a huge scar, <laughs> but her dorsal stripe is all messed up. That's crazy. So when Tani, who had four, four hours of sleep or so, says, oh, wow, you know it's very interesting. It's got my hat seen before. So you'll have to explain to me. Somebody right there. Okay, so get some close B-roll of it, too. Just. Okay, I'll just, uh, oh, well, okay, what's going so, Oh, Robin, thank you for $2. I this horse, I was like, something looks weird. And she had a really bad injury at one point that ripped her hide off. Probably like really bad. And then she had a scar that was on her right side. And it healed. And this is her dorsal stripe going down. Starts over here. So originally this was over here, but through this injury, it healed. So her dorsal stripe is over here. So it's just, just crazy, but she has quite the body in there. So you're very grateful. Yeah, that's that's crazy. All right, wait. Where are my 800 people go? We're down to 779. No, no, no. Don't leave. If you must sleep, leave it playing. All right. You get back to 800 people. We're on to 779. Looks like a bear got to her when she was young. Could have, could be just about anything. Um, could have caught her rump under a fence. I mean, you just have no idea. Uh-oh. Meg is, Meg is going down the deep rabbit hole of researching state castration laws. So. I can almost guarantee you, Meg, out west, it is legal to castrate livestock without being a veterinarian, so... Dr. Nancy's sitting. This is good. This is so good. She is human after all. We were wondering. We were. We were. She, uh, she, the night before the, oh, so cute. The night before the auction, she didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m. And then last night, uh -oh. she didn't get anything. Steve. Hi, Steve. Look at you. Uh-oh, little and Steve. sweet. You're so cute. Little Jack. Mm. Looks young, too. This is a very cute little miniature donkey. He's uh, he's quite tiny. Sometimes people are like, oh, it's a miniature donkey, but this is actually a miniature donkey. So Corey's so tall, he's knee high to a donkey. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny. Uh, oh my. For those of you that don't know, Tawny has many talents, of course, but uh, one of them is that she sounds just like a donkey. Tawny <laughs> sounds like a donkey? <laughs> Put her on the spot. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah. hold on. I gotta clear my throat. <clears> throat> Takes a little pre preparation to pray like a donkey. But you might get him too excited. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a tired donkey. <laughs> hey, that's Stevie. I wonder what his last name is. So, um, jumping troopers, we're just going to have to see what comes through with the brand. Um, I don't know if we got any other branded animals. Terry, thank you for your $2 donation. Yay. Now Stevie's attacking people. He's a, he's a dangerous little guy. Ah, uh, Judy, thank you for being in my 18 months. 
That is so a year and a half you've been a member. Thank you so much. Super, super, super appreciate that. Judy's amazing. I wonder what Tawny said in document. So grumpy. Probably told him that in the future, soon, he is going to be uh, sleeping peacefully. And when he awakes, Mary Ellen will have more experience gelding donkeys, and he'll be a gelding. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what she told him in so many, uh, so many braids. And he's lucky enough to be gelded by a vet here in Tennessee. Yeah, this is also true. That donkey is super cute. I don't, you know, Corey's making Caitlin handle the big horses, and he's got little Stevie. Oh, well. Um, jumping that is awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, we're back up to 850 people. All right. Yeah, seriously, if you got to go somewhere and you can, just leave it playing, if you don't mind. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, Dr. Nancy's up there. I don't, ex I don't have had to donate extra last night. Well, thank you, Irma. It really helped out. Can you send Stevie to me in Australia? Uh, Stevie. Let's ask Stevie if he wants to go. All right, Stevie. Stevie, do you want to go to Australia? It's small enough to go on a plane. Stevie, do you want to go hang out with, uh, what do they have in Australia? Tasmanian devils? Kangaroos. Do you want to, do you want to go hang out with a wallaby? Do you want to go hang out in the desert? Ah, he does not want to. He says no. I heard him say no. But if Ju you do want to adopt him and you're in Australia, then um, we, Look have, into we have done stuff like that before. I think we have horses in Hawaii. Look into transportation costs before, you know. Yeah. You may want to get him certified as a service animal and then take him on the airplane as a service animal. He'll, he'll fit the vet. <laughs> ah, Judy, thank you so much for your $15 donation. Alrighty, bye Stevie. So the only other horse down here is the big drafty. And if uh, uh we'll see if uh Caitlin is the one that has to get the draft. Eight hundred and seventy people. I wonder if we're gonna get to a thousand people watching our live. Ah, that would be awesome. So four hundred and forty four dollars donated. Tawny's down here. I bet you the uploading for photos and stuff you're taking is so much faster too, huh? She's not answering me. Um, hello, Channel 2, the Owl House. Um, okay. Oh, Corey heard me say he was going to make Caitlin do the draft horse, and he decided, decided to swap. Yeah. She, she's happy. When you think something's gonna happen, then you always have to I know. Yeah. You're just being, you're just making me a liar every chance you get. <laughs> All right. Scary right. quarantine class to bring Chris into Australia. Oh, I'm sure it's unrealistic, but I, I totally get it. He's a super cute little donkey. I mean, look at him. He's just tiny. It's a tiny little guy. Whoop. Um. Hello, Christina. Um, All righty, so. Yeah, typically when you uh, transport internationally, there's a quarantine time and, uh, do all the horses get rabies shots? Is that one of the five ways we can? No, we give a separate shot for rabies. Okay. Yeah, Steve, Stevie does love being the center of attention. Can get rabies. Horses can absolutely get rabies, and it's terrifying when they do. And, uh... Hey, I'm ready for the next horse. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. If so, can you donate a thousand on YouTube? I have no idea if you could donate a thousand, but man alive, that'd be awesome. Anthony, go ahead and give it a try. I know you've donated a lot, so... Uh, oh, oh, I'm closing the gate. I don't know how I got stuck doing Corey's job. All right. Can we see the cats? Can't see the cats right now, but uh, how's your how's your DoorDash doing? So Tawny's DoorDash a cat carrier for the cats because we didn't bring one because 
like we're rescuing horses, not cats, so. Um. All right, I'm just trying to catch up on the, uh, uh, yes, Corey did get his degree at Feather River College. All right, Macy, if you want to go grab the door dash. What's that? I got certificates. Certificates. All right. Certificates in horse training, ranch management, welding, tractor operation. Sweet. Wait, you're a certified tractor operator? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll learn something new about Corey today. That's cool. I've operated pretty much every piece of equipment there is besides a big excavator and a freighter, a skidder, and... So you've I've driven... been in a bulldozer, but I only moved it. I didn't actually operate. Okay, I was gonna say you've been a bulldozer. I'd like I'd like to drive around a D11 sometime. Maybe I've we should go to Alaska and do some gold mining. I wouldn't mind. But I've operated like those big, uh, like those big loaders. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Middle, um, oh yeah. Articulating loaders. Yeah. That's, Sweet. That's fun. Um, Everything's fun for a while, right? And then you've done it for three months, and it's like, oh, I'm just moving dirt around again. Yeah, it's still it's still nice, especially when the cab is air conditioned on the radio. Ah, there you go. I also lift my fork every day. Big truck. So do I. I mean, you can see that. But, I mean, I've operated. Big rigs? No, yeah, yeah. actually, I have operated big rigs. But. So, horses are the last challenging thing in your life, basically. Horses, exactly. Caroline, thank you for donating $35. Woo! The forklift I used, though, we used when I was working for a lumber mill. Got like 30 foot stacks of lumber that are 40 foot wide and pull those around. So they're, they're pretty big. All right, so Hank's mom says castration on the farm is exempt from animal cruelty laws in most states. Karen asked, Are we getting Tennessee walkers? Yes, we got several Tennessee walkers, if not a lot. Um, well, we're out of horses. But we're not out of horses. We're just out of horses back here. So now they're going to have to walk the horses back here so we can get the pictures and introduce them to you guys and then uh, send them back to their pen. Alrighty, good. Not, so far, nobody's super getting impacted. Some flooding, wind, rain down in Florida. Definitely thoughts are down in Florida. Uh, Sue, thanks for watching from Montana. Netherlands. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Semi. You think of your horses if uh, would be trained would be great jumping horses. I'm not sure. Um, yep, over 900 people watching. Thank you so much. Denmark, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Canada. We got people all around the world. So I'm going to sneak on up here. Y'all let me know if the video quality gets very poor. I'm going to sneak on up here. And I've been hanging out with you guys for almost an hour. And... Uh, What's over there? Oh, cows. Not our cows, but look at the coloring on that cow. That is, that is cool color. All right. And then this is our pen of horses. There's another draft horse. Do you want to come up here to get your photos? So I don't have to walk quite so far. All right. I'm watching a live storm chaser stream. All right, cool. <laughs> Alabama, Oklahoma, Sweden, Finland, Mercy. Y'all from all over the world. And Tokyo, Japan. I don't think I've ever seen somebody that says they're from Japan before watching. And Australia. Sounds like Stevie has something. To Sweden. problems poor horsey sunburn or something it, probably not sunburn it's rain rot yeah who knows, what who knows exactly what caused that but he's got um some paralyzed lip issue going on oh paralyzed lip too oh no uh-oh i mean you can see it from the front here if you come to the front horses have a lot of nerves in their face and that's why you don't want to be messing with their face with 
surgeries and whatnot very much because you can mess up their nerves and then you have a paralyzed lip. Aw, poor horse. All right, what so I, I find interesting is it's got the uh, skin condition on the white. Well, sunburn. Yeah. And then when it rains, it's kind of a, just a mix. Uh huh. Horse super. Has a paralyzed lip. Super skinny. Super skinny. All right, turn that way. Uh. So somebody, somebody says most states have a livestock exemption on the farm for cat registration, which I assumed was how it would be. Which that's, I mean, because, you know, ranchers want to pet their cattle and whatnot. But Tennessee, it says animal. That means any blowjo could be out there cutting testicles off his dog. Yeah. It, laws need to be changed. Horses don't This horse is front right. It's oh. horrible. Yeah, bad front leg. Video quality's getting bad. We have to move well, back. But that's just one person. Oh, please back up. Quality is suffering. Okay, doke, y'all. But go, go help this horse up here. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to bring the horse back here. I've got a. I'm right in the middle of uploading other things too. So. Yep. Mm, probably drug last night. But mechanically, she has a lot going on in there. Like. It's not just a simple matter of. All right. Ah, oh, that poor leg. Mm -mm -mm. Poor horse. And 950 people watching. Yes. Um. So I'm glad somebody th somebody suggested booster because I'm going to try that next month. I think I have enough parts to put one together to make it work. So we'll see. Uh, it would be absolutely great. Um, probably not your laptop, Carrie. Um, I'm sure it's the, uh, poor quality AT&T out here. I'll try to back up more on the yeah. next horse. For the horses that can walk, um, we're gonna, we're gonna back up a little bit more to where the service was better. Ah, Chris has been a, uh, horse hero for 16 months. That's, thank you so much. Now, guys, we're at $479. We just need a $21 donation. We'll be at $500. Um, Eartha can't find the donate button. It's got to be in there somewhere. Kind of looks like a uh, somebody help them out here. But yeah, I can't see um, website donations or anything. Only, uh, only the money that's donated on YouTube can I actually see on here. But uh, Christy back at the office couldn't be seeing all the uh, all the donations coming in. Yeah. Aww. it's a pretty horse, but what a sad front leg. So sad. I'm just so grateful for everyone who donated to help us like rescue horses that are suffering because when you're at auction and you run out of don't you know funds for the budget of what we can rescue and you're seeing horses like this go through the auction just you know for a couple hundred dollars and you know you could spare them that suffering and i'm just so grateful for everyone who stepped up to donate last night because Originally, we're like, we can rescue 20, but y'all kept donating on Facebook and all our, our supporters, and we were able to to rescue 35, at least at least help. The 35th one, obviously, we had to put it down on intake, but we were here to help that horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have any level one horses at the shelter? I don't know off the top of my head. I'd be kind of surprised if we had any level ones, but, um, did we get a lot of stars on Facebook? I think we hit about 50,000, about 50, so we, we didn't make it to a hundred thousand stars on Facebook because Facebook was Facebook again, and they knocked us off of being able to monetize anything. And uh, we had to jump through a couple hoops and, uh, got it back in time for the auction, but definitely put a delay on that. Let's see what has, what's, uh, let's see. Uh, Julie, thanks for watching from Australia. All right. uh, Rebecca, thank you for all your kind words. Good morning. I'm tempted to give up my car payments insurance would buy one or two a month. Oh, very. Do keep your car insurance. 
She says give up her car and her like. Oh. Uh, yeah, we know where she lives, but they have tra public transportation there. But yeah, public tra don't yeah, don't nice. but don't hurt your standard of living. Yeah. As as rescuers, like we have to take care of ourselves, and also as donors, you have to take care of yourself. Because yeah. if you give up everything, you won't be able to put more in the future. Uh -huh. So you might be able to save, skip out on a cup of coffee, you know, a yeah. of, you know just little things. Maybe your, don't go out to eat as often, you know. Your quality of life is still in, uh, there and, and very important. But um, just for like, you know, us as rescuers, we have to have a work-life balance. We have to take time to to breathe and process, especially after seeing horrible things. And as donors, we also need you to do the same. Take care of yourself because if you're taking care of yourself and you're just setting some money aside, you can help more in the long run then if you <coughs> help so much you get completely burnt out and then you're yeah. like i can't do this and you you don't even look at horse rescue or talk about it anymore because you're burnt out yeah. from the donor's perspective so take care of yourself we need you yep and you're a huge huge help on the chats and everything fairy so just thank you for everything you do but i but i understand the temptation is strong <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mary. Love you, too. Thank you for watching. Um, Sandy's down in Texas. Waiting for Corey to bring the next horse down, but um, we've got Haley blocking the traffic lane with her camera. So Starlink is good. It's very expensive. And uh, back at the office, we have dedicated fiber. It's just here at the auction. They don't have Wi-Fi, so. Both knees are bad. Uh, oh, the poor front knees. Uh, Annika, thank you for watching. Um, who can afford to go out to eat? I know, right? A large lump on one of its sides, too. I think it's the right side. Yeah, I think I remember this one. Yep. So. Big old lump on the side. Big old lumps on the knees. Poor horse. I think this is a good spot. Um, the internet isn't as good up here. We'll see if people keep complaining. Let me know how, how it's looking, y'all. What bale do you guys use more? Big square or little ones? So, big, big, well, actually, they're round. Okay, so, yep, still good here. So, we're good here. So far, so good. Beautiful. Oh, you want me to come show people that you can stick a finger inside the horse? All right, here we go, guys. Ah, uh, this is so sad. There should be really strong muscles keeping mm -hmm. the intestines in, and I can take all of this and shove it back inside, and I can put like four, five fingers in this hole that goes into okay, her cavity yeah, yeah. there. So that's yep. not good. Not good at all. Oh, video's looking crisp as I've seen today. Cool. Well, maybe as the sun comes up, the internet gets better. I don't know what's going on. Yes, so Dr. Nancy's back there doing her vet stuff, back where in the land of no cell service. And uh, Mary Ellen, who just graduated vet school and is working on oh, passing her there, boards. Right? Yes. Do I have any rescues in Washington? I don't think there's a full uh, circle of life horse shelter. In, there's Oregon. one in Oregon. Helping our mini equines. Yeah. Helping our mini, mini equines, mini. like M-I-N-I. Huh. These days it's cheaper to keep a horse than to eat up. You know, you know what's really sad, and uh, I realized this the other day when my uh, one of my kids wanted to go out to Taco Bell. It's like thirteen dollars a person to eat at Taco Bell. Thirteen dollars to eat a little bit of food at Taco Bell. I'm like, how how is this even possible? Well, I mean, but, minimum wage at fast food is like fifteen dollars an hour, yeah. and it's it's hard. On us, I mean, we used to be able to hire people for ten dollars an hour to clean stalls, and now it's like, I mean, you can't, you can't get help for that yeah. because they have to spend thirteen dollars at Taco Bell to get their yeah. food. No, for sure. Um. Mary Ellen, you can put like I put like five. Well, all four fingers into her hernia on the side. All right. Oh, look, somebody's down in a. Somebody's down in Leesburg, Florida. It's 20 mile an hour gust, light drizzle. Ah, good. Everybody seems to be doing fine. The news is sure hyping it up this morning. You got your 
A little mandatory reporter out there in the wind. I think they put some fans up so it looks worse than it is. Yep. I try. So last actor's didn't want me. But yep. Let's see who's where, where's Icy. Um, okay, so Icy, we we did rescue 34, and then there was a uh, young man that purchased the stallion, and him and his buddy were trying to geld it, and it ended up being a testicular hernia to where he had testicles coming out all over the ground. It was horrible. So, and that we, is legal we, for people to yep. do that in Tennessee. Tennessee has a law that if you own an animal or your employer owns an animal, you can castrate that animal. It's not livestock yep. specific. Horses are considered livestock in Tennessee, but according to the law from all my research, you could take a and, dog and, and Fox and, News research because they did a story on it a while can, ago. Uh, you can take a a dog and cut its testicles off. Yeah, or a or cat. Or a horse or a cat. Like, I mean, animal. Tennessee's yep. laws are antiquated. Horses, donkeys, dogs, cats, they should only be gelded or castrated by a veterinarian, a licensed Definitely. veterinarian. Definitely. Thank you so much for your amazing donation. So, yes, they, 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 ca they were castrating it here. Yep, right after the auction. And, uh, Um, I don't need water. You keep missing. Oh, thank you, though. Um, what joke? Some boys might, what anime says I'm missing her jokes. So let's go find a joke. All right, scrolling up. Looking, looking. Looking, looking. I didn't miss your jokes because I can't even find it. Oh, now I'm sad. I saw, I saw, um. Oh. Why was the horse sneezing? Because he had hay fever. So I did miss that actually, because um, YouTube, uh, YouTube sometimes scrambles the donation message. So it's best to put the joke just straight in the chat and uh, thank you so much for your donation. Yes, the horse had hay fever. That's why it kept sneezing. Oh dear. <clears throat> so, uh, Silver Star's dog is watching with us, so. 943 people, almost to $500. We just need $17.27, and we'll be at $500. So somebody threw a $20 bill at us. That would, that would get us right up to $500. So thank you, guys. Waiting for, uh, where's Corey with a horse? Corey with a horse. Okay, now we, here's one. What's a shark's favorite sandwich? Shark's favorite sandwich. Well, to the best of my ability and my in my uh, limited knowledge, sharks don't have hands, so it'd be really hard to eat a sandwich. But if a pig fell in the ocean, the shark would eat the sh pig. So was that a ham sandwich? We do need better animal protection laws. All right, so... Uh, maybe tuna. I don't know. Um, Ocala, Florida, light wind and some rain and stuff. They have to up certain areas. They hit hard with storm, sort, storm surge. I was like, they're not even, I don't know. The news tried to hype it up, and I'm like, it's category three, which I'm sure is bad. But, um, and there's going to be flooding. People in Florida should ought to be used to flooding a little bit. I mean, it is flat, and there's water everywhere. Oh, a man witch. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a bad shark. Mm -mm -mm. That's terrible. Oh dear. All right. <clears throat> What's a caveman's favorite sandwich? The horse walks in the bar. Hey, says the barman. Yes, please, says the horse. Oh dear. All right, caves, caveman's favorite sandwich is the one made by his cave wife. Oh dear. There we go. Um, <laughs> do you have to join the membership to join? So, um, Taurus, and when you become a member on YouTube, that super helps out with the horses. And, uh, oh, dear, these jokes, y'all are killing me. Um, so, you become a member, it's like $9.99 a month, and you can get a really cool little uh, horsey by your name when you chat, and it helps the horses out. All right, why do cowboys ride horses? Because they're too heavy to carry. Ah, oh, no. 
I'll tell Corey that one when he comes up. So I've been hanging out with y'all for 75 minutes so far. Uh, Dr. Nancy's right there. I think y'all can see her. Yep. All right, so there's Dr. Nancy. They're just uh, getting this horse done really quick, and then um, Corey's going to be bringing the next horse down. How do you make an Appaloosa shake the tree? Oh, that's just terrible. That's that's not that's bad, Dad, right there. That's terrible. All right, who all is on the team? Corey, Caitlin, Haley, Macy, Dr. Nancy. Mary Ellen, who's going to be a Dr. Mary Ellen as soon as she passes the national boards, and uh, Tawny and I. And then last night we had Peyton and her mom. Mm, so I just want to correct Jason. When a veterinarian graduates, they are a doctor of veterinarian medicine, so they are a doctor at that time. Mm -hmm. Then they work with their state and everything to get their license. Even though she hasn't passed um, the boards, she's considered a doctor? You graduate as a doctor. Um, just like you can be a doctor of whatever okay um there's the cats there's the cats cool and they're they've got lots of paws or pads like they're up. fingers whatever they're, claws what's, what's it called oh, i don't uh, remember what they're called it's a fancy name but yep. it means lots of digits yeah and people were posting that uh their cats were able to like open the refrigerator and peel off individual slices of meat and uh people are saying these cats are crazy so okay. So I got one, two, three, four, five little paws there. Oh, cool. Polydactyl. Polydactyl. Yes. Mini dactyl, basically. Poly means extra, yeah. Yes. Or pterodactyl. Well, pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, pterodactyl will be three. Well, yeah. So, and yep. We're, we're a little tired. Oh, thank you. $20 donation. Yay. We're over $500. Woohoo. 950 people. Oh no, I call my horse Mayo and he neighs. Oh uh, wait, where Corey? Come back with a horse. All right, I'll uh, keep the jokes coming now. I'm loving these. Ah uh, yes, Chandler Acres, thank you so much for your $20 donation. Otherwise known as Hemingway Cats. Why are Appaloosas considered geniuses? Because they're always spot on. <clears throat> so, um, Corey, Corey, why did the cowboy ride the horse? Because it's too heavy to carry. <laughs> All righty. So, no, YouTube takes 0%, y'all. So, YouTube donates 100% of your donation to charity. So, yeah. Donating on YouTube is one of the best ways to get 100% of your money to Horse Plus. So, it's super awesome. Um, that back, yeah, oh man, everything looks messed up on this horse, which is too bad. So, this is the kind of horse that was coming through last night. Over and over and over. Oh, poor horse. From laying down, yep. From laying down to try to relieve the pressure. So he's probably on a lot of medication right now from trying to make him look sound at the auction. But. So yes, we did rescue some draft horses last night. They already, um, actually have one more, right? I think we we'll have to send through. Um, That's fine. I'll just take pictures over there. Uh, that way we don't have to run them. The horse is gorgeous, but so messed up. It's sad. So are polydactyl cats more uh, limber? I've been seeing people saying on Facebook that, like, they could open doors and, like, just crazy stuff. So Dr. Nancy says this horse has been through at least four auctions since July 1st. Yeah, exchange rate. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, thank you for your five dollar, uh, five pound donation. Pick it up and bin it. Really, super appreciate that. Any dedicated cat will open doors. <laughs> right? Ah. Uh, 
Oh, more dad jokes. Okay. Well, y'all give me some and I'll repeat them out here. Um, ah, my brain is, my brain is having a hard time coming up with some dad jokes, but, uh, what does an elephant do when he breaks his toe? It calls a tow truck. Oh, wow. Why doesn't, oh, yes. Cool. Is the extra cat digits cat sign of inbreeding? Maybe ones with less digits are the ones that are inbred. I don't know. What do you? What does it mean when you find a horseshoe? A horse is walking around in his socks. You know, horses do have socks. This one right up here's got. It looks like um, four socks to me. See, four, there's your four socks. Uh, what does a magic tractor? Wait, what? What did the magic tractor do? Turned into a field. Oh my. How do you make Lady Gaga cry? Poke her face. What do you say to a skunk in a courtroom? Oh dear. Uh, Sim, let me go scroll back, try to find your question, or if you want to repost it. So we're telling jokes. Minus Clum just got herself stuck in an empty pee picture, fell off the... Oh dear. I'm not seeing Sim's question. Sorry, man. Um... So there's quite a number of private people here. So actually I can tell you a story from last night at the auction. This is a horse, we should have got 36. So we, I was uh, up there in the auction bidding on horses and this little miniature stud, um, little, little um, you know, stud mini came into the auction ring and bid on it and the other people were bidding on it. I bowed out fairly cheap because it was a private home and then after they won the bid, I realized I probably made a mistake and I should have bid some more to save them from themselves. So it was a family that bid on this horse. This little mini was in really sad condition. It was a stallion. And this family probably has no idea what they're doing with this little miniature stallion. It's probably gonna go back. It's gonna live in their backyard. It's gonna suffer. So I'm like, man, should have got that one. But we try not to bid against private homes. You know, we're going to keep horses out of the slaughter price line, but we try not to bid against people in private homes. But that one we probably should have got. Do we normally get Tennessee walkers? Yes. We normally get Tennessee walkers here. We're in Tennessee. There's a whole lot of Tennessee walkers that are just dumped. Yes. We'll do it quick. Alrighty. And we got a number Just of horses with snottiness. So snotty noses, huh? After Nancy's swabbing them to get okay. so we can figure out what's going on. Okay. So yeah, this one's got a, uh, a snotty nose. He's got a lump under his throat. Lump under his throat. But not Nine hundred and eighty-three people watching on my screen. We've raised over five hundred dollars. You guys are amazing. Just imagine if we got to a thousand dollars. Oh, that'd be great. That's a that's a pretty horse, but man, he's got a skinny um, front leg, kind of holding the front leg a little bit goofy. Right. But uh. What did the boar say to the other boar? Don't be such a boar. Oh, my. Wouldn't that be funnier if it was more like, um, well, Stevie Wonder has something to say. He's laughing at that one, so he liked it. Is that a gelding? All right. Um, so I think that joke would be funnier. Is, what did the pig say to the other pig? Don't be such a boar. <laughs> Taurus, thank you for your $5 donation. I had a bad morning at work. Hope this helps one of these videos have a better one. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day at work, or a bad morning at work. Hopefully the rest of your day gets to be a little bit better. All right, let me go back over to this side of the... So this horse is like a floating... It could even be like a tumor right here on the side uh, of the head. Yeah. So I guarantee you the kill buyer's got a whole lot less horses than they were thinking of. We... Um, I mean, there was 70. 77, but... But um, we kept the prices up. So, 
Yep. All right, Corey's going to be coming with another horse here soon. Oh, 994 people. I really want to see a 1,000 on that there. That would be amazing. Just, be just share this, like, just pause because we're in between horses. Copy the link, share it to your social media, and tell your friends to join. And tell them yeah. how cool we are for doing what we can to help these horses, and maybe we'll get over a 1,000. I'm like, now, if each one of you just got one friend to join, just imagine. That would be around 2,000. And she's got a little halter. Not where it was at one point. Yeah. Another pretty horse at Cini with messed up legs. I, I feel like this is going to be a recurring theme. Pick it up and bin another ten dollars. Yay! Thank you so much. What if we don't have friends? Huh? I'm glad that you're hanging out with us. We can be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Sim, I'm sorry no one got back to you on that. Do you understand that our vet is not hired here to answer people's questions about horses? Our, our vet is, our, our vet is, is, is yeah. These, these horses, so. No, they're saying they called back in October and no one got back to them, even though the person that's in the phone said they'd pass the question on to the vet. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, our vet is very, very, very busy. So, and this was in October? Yeah. That would have been last year. We didn't even have Dr. Nancy. So, yep. Yeah. Um, well, back in October, we, were, we have a, a vet comes out. So we right. have a veterinarian. 1,001 people watching. Woohoo! We hit it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this morning. I've been here uh, hanging out with you for almost an hour and a half, talking nearly nonstop. So far, so good. I am, though, leaning up against the rail because, uh, yeah, we didn't get a ton of sleep last night. That's a pretty horse. Any, any, I wonder how many horses we've done. Do we know how many horses we've uh, assessed so far? Okay, so so we got a. Uh, we've done about twenty-ish. So, yep, we're over a thousand people watching. Yay! I did not come at the beginning, so I don't have a count. Oh, that's fine, Icy. Um, oh, Tawny's. I'm going to have to be quiet here for a second. So, yo, I'm just going to be silent. I'm not going to say another word because when, uh, you know, Haley's got to interview Tawny here, I'm just, I'm not going to say anything because I'm supposed to be quiet now. So I have to be silent. Yeah, I get to talk again. Cool. That was a nice little break. But, um, yeah. Haley's doing such a good job. She always does such a good job. Somehow she just does a good job automatically. And uh, now she's going to run back up there at high speed and uh, keep videoing up there. But not so high that it scares the horses. Um, yeah, Exploit Country. Thanks for joining us. Let's see. I'm glad. Yeah, I've been watching it for two years. Every time you suppose it's like the first thing I watch before. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yep, this horse is completely blind. So we don't have any remote work positions available right now. Um, so Carrie, um, uh, through our website, the credit card processor is like 2.3% or something. So out of every 100 bucks, I think like $3 goes to the processor. So it's, it's not bad at all. That's just standard credit card processing fees. Um, in Shelter Love, on the uh, donation through Shelter Love, you can actually click a little button and it will add the processing fee. So, like, somebody wanted to donate 100 bucks, it'd end up being like 103, and then we get 100% of that $100. So, 
Oz, thank you for your three dollar donation. Super awesome. Whew. Someone started Icy started watching season one of Horse Rescue Heroes. Yeah. So um Icy, how are you liking season four? Apparently you, you like hanging out with us still, so that's always a good thing. But um This poor poor blind horse. Just completely, completely blind. Oh, we dipped below a thousand. Is this a mare? So all of all of the donation platforms are fine. Um, three percent is very common, two and a half to three percent. But uh, YouTube is just special because they give a hundred percent. Ah, X Blue Country, it's great that you are able to vicariously hang out with horses through us, and that's what it comes down to. So yeah, I see we have done it different every year. Um, first two years were pretty similar, but um, this year's definitely, I like it. It's different from the others. And we definitely every are, been than uh, yeah, every horse every rescue heroes different. has been different. So. so we get to uh, see what it's like one year and be like, let's try this the next year. Uh-huh. So why aren't we by the vets? So number one, even if I was standing over there, you wouldn't be able to hear what they were saying and I would have to be repeating everything anyway, which then they're trying to talk to each other and then I'm repeating what they're saying and they're getting, it's, it's a little bit of a mess. But most importantly, why we're not over there is simply because in that section of the barn, there's no decent internet and it would be horribly blurry and you wouldn't be able to see what's going on. <clears throat> we need more horses coming through because we're losing viewers. Uh, Caroline, thank you for your donation. Um, it's all working out. You guys are awesome. And uh, super appreciate all of your support. Um, yeah, so we're having an adoption event on uh, September 11, I think it is. All the appointments are full as far as I know. All the appointments are full. Yep. But you can, uh, we're not doing any adoptions like the week before because of the adoption event, but then after, then you can adopt again. There you go. Now, Corey was telling me last night, he's hoping that every adoptable horse gets adopted this adoption event. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh dear, this person's kid only makes $8.50 an hour working at Taco Bell. Uh, it all depends on where you're at. It depends on where you're at. Yeah. You also involved previous winners in your next season? Yeah, no, we, uh, we there like. Are, there are people coming. I'm not gonna say who's coming, but there are people coming. Uh, for boot camp. I hope so. That aren't like. Oh, none the of the. Ah, oh, yeah, just like previous years. We uh, no, we actually enjoy hanging out with uh, you know, other, other organizations in the Full Circle of Life Horse Shelter Network, and so it's always fun when they're able to visit us in Tennessee and uh, hang out in the heat and humidity. But it's getting so much better. It's today is probably our one perfect weather auction rescue. It's just, it's just awesome. Alrighty. Wait, I thought court. I think Tani just said she's going to go do her video. Thank yous. Um, I'm an, I'm ex army and love how you're doing boot camp. You're much nicer than my old drill sergeants. <laughs> so, um, so one of my kids just graduated Air Force Academy, not Academy, Air Force Basic Training um, last year. And he said it was just kind of really easy. So, yeah, uh, she's leaving. She's going bye-bye. I don't know where she's going. She's got to go do something else real quick. But I think she's arranging maybe Dr. Nancy to come down here and take the photos. Lots of how to prevent or mitigate mistreatment of horses so they do not need to be rescued. Um, societal change. Laws with enhanced penalties for animal abuse. These are all long-term solutions. And like, yeah, it's just hard because there are so many horses and there's so many horses in poor condition. And uh, I'm also curious to see what what rescues are going to be at boot camp. Now, I, uh, I'm, I've been told, um, I believe there's three coming, and then also some uh, 
other special guests. So anyway, AOC to come to an auction or something. I want to get someone who can make these changes involved. Is Corey sneaking a nap between horses? Yes. Guaranteed. Um, I enjoy Horse Rescue Heroes on Monday and then Horse Shelter Heroes on Thursday. Yeah? We're putting out a lot of great content right now. And our media team is just knocking it out of the ballpark. And couldn't thank them enough for that. It's just absolutely amazing. What date is boot camp? I believe it's um, September 11th through 14th or something like that. So... I'm just sitting here waiting for the next horse to come down. Hello, little horsey. Come visit us. Donkey's laughing at Corey. Uh, Stevie's trying to wake Corey up. Any mini ponies. I'm thinking. Sorry, y'all. Rescue 35 last night. Um, I know I bid on some. I don't believe. I don't. We didn't get any other minis the other than Steve, did we? Corey? No. Yeah, it's just Steve. Are we not bringing horses down here anymore? We're balancing all kinds of things going on. All right, so Steve is a little miniature donkey jack that we rescued last night. Every once in a while, he'll, he'll let loose and start hollering at us. All right, I also fall in love with the hoof. So it'd be great to get some famous Tennessee artists on board. So, yep, here's this horse. Dr. Nick. What type of artist? I, you know, famous ones. Like, I don't know. Who's famous these days? I mean, we have, oh, we we have just, some country stars that like to... Um, well, it'd be nice if they came and hang out with so. us, right? But uh, we're not going to name names right now. But um, it would be great. What's that really, really famous one? She has a very fast-sounding last name. She has a kind of a guy's first name, Taylor. Um, Tyler, Tyler Swift, I think her name is. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, she should come hang out with us too. Yeah. No, but um, be, celebrities endorsing causes can help. Um, celebrities endorsing causes that often don't cause um, the laws to change, but. So there, I, I do have a friend. And I think it is her son is an uh -huh. agent for okay. the big cool. stars in Nashville. Yeah. And last year I was talking with her and she said that she would reach out and see about getting a little donate. But we were too late because that person had already donated to their cause of their sure. for that year. Sure. But it's a new year, eh? Erica. Yeah, I think that person called recently. Nice. Yeah. Erica um, just donated two dollars. Thank you so much. Yeah, I believe it to be named Blue. I don't know why, but it reminded me of Jurassic Park Velociraptor Blue. <laughs> I did not get the Velociraptor vibes from the Appaloosa, but... I don't know about that. Yeah. Corey has more than one friend. He has two. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're you got to go, far between, but... Yeah, you got to go hang out with them out in uh, California here yeah, recently. But my best friend was actually uh, fighting fires at the time, so he did not get to make it to hang out with <sighs> Apparently, he's been in contact with Caitlin, and they're planning something, and they're not telling me what it is. And, uh, oh, boy. I've tried prodding and trying to get information, but her lips are sealed. But apparently, well, they're well, planning something, and I should be able to see all of my really good buddies here soon. It's been before uh, last month. It's actually been a couple of years since I've seen nah. pretty much most of my family and most of my really close friends. Um, That's what happens when you move. Out here, so I got at least one family member close, but everybody else is pretty far away. But at least I got some cool people I work with. So there you go. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> people are just naming off random celebrities like, yeah, oh, this person needs to come. Um, do we prefer short names or theme names? I, I don't think we're doing a theme. I'll take Stevie in West Palm Beach, Florida. I <laughs> know, right? Changing laws depends on... Oop, to, oh, yeah, subscribers going to their governor, senators, and congressmen. Absolutely. Um, can I use some of the footage from your Big Lick is Abuse video to do a uh, edit? Mm, I don't know. I'm not in a position to answer that right now. I think uh, YouTube allows people to chop things up. But, um, 
yeah, I'm, I can't just give out blanket permission for people to use our videos because then you'd be monetizing it and you'd be getting money from uh, footage that the nonprofit took. So if you want to put something together and send it to me, that'd be cool. Or if you want to go to the shows yourself and yeah. protest and then film your own stuff. Then... There you go. You could go film your own stuff. Um, I made paracord. Yep, you did. Yes, awesome. Thank you. Uh, I see those are great. Have you ever did a celebrity names? I think we have done celebrity uh, naming things before. Um, my, oh, somebody says Miley Cyrus should come. All right. So, by the way, y'all, I did know Taylor Swift's name. I was just trying trying to be funny. And, uh, yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm not a Swifty. Please don't accuse me of being a Swifty. I was not one of the 70,000 people braving the rain to watch her perform up in Nashville recently. But, uh, you know, if, uh, if she wanted to come out, I'd say hi to her. That'd be fine. Um, I'm never one who listened to a lot of music, so I really don't know who most musicians are, unfortunately. So if they showed up, I would. I would. You'd just give them a tour like they're anybody else. Okay. This horse is written through. They'd be like, um... Why is this person not treating us like a celebrity? It's like, well, because you're in the presence of Tawny. Like, why aren't you treating her like a celebrity? So, so um, you know, if maybe uh, Blake Shelton came to the... So if, like, you know, say maybe Blake Shelton came out or something, he'd have to ask Tawny for her autograph. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, some celebrities have horses. A lot of celebrities have horses. All right. Taylor Swift is super tall. Didn't realize she's 5'10". Yeah, I didn't know that either. Make me feel short. Yeah. Yep. Tawny's, uh, Tawny's somewhere three. in the lower three. fives. 5'3". Five is this the same horse, Corey? Yes, we're considering about something with it, so we can put it back here. Okay. Well, we're, we're filling up with pens up there now, so. Yep. Cool. We'll move, move so I've been on here for 100 minutes. It's so cool. Um, 972 people. We were over a thousand for a while, but then we had a, like horses weren't coming through. So people got bored and, um, apparently I'm not entertaining enough to keep all thousand people. All right. Um, how about the rock? I don't have the rocks phone number in my phone, so I can't call him up and see if he can come out today. Um, uh, da -da, Gary wants to know if he can sponsor a specific horse. So you absolutely could. Um, contact our office. Just call our office, 800-888-474-7077. Um, and uh, push one, and that will put you in touch with Christy. And uh, she would definitely be able to set up a sponsorship for you. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to come out here, probably. He's all the way over in California. But uh, my grandpa was a bodybuilder. And at one point, from what I was told, he was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, coach. Coach. Yep. So, granddaughter of the coach. One coach out of a career of like 100. 50, 75, 100 so, uh, years, whatever it is. If you want oh, to go over to Facebook, ah. um, between the downtimes, we are asking for name suggestions over there. So, um, hop on over there, suggest names. We're getting lots of lots of comments over there. So, cool. Um, yeah, we actually have uh, Kimberly back the office she's putting these up for you so nate's not doing that for you uh nate is working on other projects um, ah. so uh, keep <clears> your head <throat> on over there and uh pop up the, the on the comments and just comment what name you like or like other names there you go hello can i help you all righty so Transporter number one showed up. So we had, we rescued more horses last night than we can haul. So transporter showed up. Um, thank you. Woo, hold on, hold on here. Delilah, thank you for your 100 Canadian donation. And then Suzanne just donated $5. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, Julie, two, $3. Is Outlaw going to transport? No, Outlaw's a big trailer, which it's not that big of a trailer. But it is uh, bigger than the one they have. It has, oh, wow. So um, it has some tire issues. So they can't haul for us today, but we're going we're gonna to pay this transporter to haul for us. Um, 
So, yeah, if you would like to make bracelets for the team, absolutely. Can't guarantee anyone's going to wear them, but uh, that'd be awesome. Whatever you like to do, that would help out. <coughs> All right. So, we have a pause. I could end the live feed. You couldn't see the last few horses, but I could help get the uh, horses loaded up and... Uh, or I could hang out here talking to you guys. So, should I hang out here talking to you guys? I'm spin around. Ooh, that was a horrible view. All right. Hang out here talking to you guys and uh, see the last few horses. Or should I go? Oh, dad jokes. Oh, dear. More dad jokes. Um, hmm. Hold on. Uh, do not end live feed. Okay. Do not end the live feed. Stay on. Oh, okay. Well, hey, Corey's coming back. No, Corey's not coming back. All right, so let's just hang out with you guys. I got you. Okay, cool. I won't help. I will just uh, tell people that the vote was to stay on. So, um, yeah, told my kid a joke about boxing, but he just uh, he didn't get the punchline. Ah, oh, dear. Did y'all get that one? Um, all right, did y'all get that joke? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell it again. Y'all missed it, so... I was talking to Justin the other day. That's my son. He's the uh, youngest son. He's in pilot school. And I told him a joke about boxing. He's, uh, he's been interested in maybe uh, going to a boxing ring or something, learn how to box. I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a good way to get your face disfigured. But anyway, told him a joke about boxing, but he didn't get the punchline. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I can, uh, I can clearly see that we need to get chairs for our vets. No, nah, I'm kidding. We don't need chairs for our vets. They're the, they're, the, they're, the, they're the ones that kept us out here till like 3 in the morning, isn't it? What about the chairs for the other people? How about just a wheelchair for Corey? Maybe hammock. Hang hammocks between the pens here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. So that's what actually you... how I did my camping trip. We just tied a hammock to a couple trees, and that's where I slept for the yeah. whole day. You know what's interesting? We have, so we have almost 1,000 people watching, and those 1,000 people know somebody, and those people that those somebodies know no, nearly every celebrity on earth. Because everybody's like only like three or four, or is it like five relationships away from everybody else on earth? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we had a, a worker one time, and uh, Willie Nelson was playing locally, and she came back to work the next day. She was so excited because she got to watch Willie Nelson walk out of the casino to his tour bus. We're like, okay, cool. <laughs> We're like, did you get to talk to him? Oh, no. Just got to watch him walk across the parking lot. I thought, okay, cool. She was, she was a Willie Nelson fan. What do you call a fly without wings? A walker. Yeah. Or just a walk. Uh, oh, dear. I can, I can guarantee none of my friends know celebrities. <laughs> Somebody posted, oh dear. That's one of the funniest jokes on here. I got to meet a couple. Um, I was a mechanical plumber. That was my first job out in Sonoma County and in Napa Valley. I worked on all the wineries out there. Okay, sure. And um, we worked on a few celebrities' houses out there in that area, too. Um, specifically, I got to meet Robin Williams. Okay, cool. He, he passed uh -huh. away. Yep. And he, he was actually really shocked. Well, and uh, he wasn't very shy in Mrs. Doubtfire, but that's a great movie. That's one of my favorite movies of his, actually. Um, I don't know no celebrities. Yeah, most people don't know celebrities, but most people know somebody who knows somebody who knows a celebrity. Um, boss have to change by calling your state representative. Uh, live stream, let's see, late to the party is normal. Oh, sorry, Salon Cat. Uh, Tina, thank you for your $20 donation. I got to ask Paul Newman for his autograph. So... I've always wondered this. So some autographs are actually worth money. Like you get uh, Paul McCartney to sign his guitar. That's going to increase the value of that guitar. And uh, that autograph is worth something. What is the point of an autograph on just like a napkin? Is it just because it's something cool? Like I've never had anyone ask me for my, my autograph. And I think that's just sad. But, you know. People ask me for mine. Oh, there you go. I bet Caitlin, yeah, Caitlin asks you for your autograph on your checkbook every day, doesn't she? Um, <laughs> I've had people message me on Facebook asking if I could send autograph pictures 
And I said yes. And, and then tell I'm him busy with life. Tell him to send so money. So if you're watching, I am sorry, but I just got busy. And... Yep. All right. I got to meet Adam West. Now, what's funny? So, uh, yeah, so haven't been around a ton of like big time celebrities. Uh, Tony and I were down in Los Angeles visiting a uh, donor one time, and he took us to a place, and the star of Teen Wolf was there. Uh, that's not a very big celebrity sighting, but uh, I get to I get to see a celebrity every day. That's Tony. So, Dr. Nancy is going to be leaving. Not right now, but um, by October 5th. Uh, but yeah, I think, being that we're in the heart of country music, I think, I think eventually some country music fan stars are going to be willing to put their face where their heart is. Okay, so we're going to have a picture here that is going to help Paul Wilson. Oh, Tony says move. We're going to call two sets of fours and yeah, Dr. Bounty Hunter would be kind of cool to meet. Um, seems like a nice person. Um, okay, Val, that's a great joke. But here's the way this joke is supposed to go. See, I like it when you guys remind me of jokes. So uh, it's, hey, do you want me to tell you about a time traveler joke? And the person's like, sure. You're like, ah, oh, never mind. You didn't find it funny then either. Yeah, I asked if they wanted me but, to leave live feed and go do, help, and they said no. Do um, head over and suggest names while we're we're in this lull time of loading. Um, in case you walked up there, it would die of self-service yep. and everything. So um, it won't take long. You guys be right back. We'll be back, but go suggest some names on horses. I am going to. Oh, thank you. What was the joke you were trying to say? All right, time traveler joke. Do you want to hear a time traveler joke? Sure. Ah, never mind. You didn't think it was funny then either. No, the horses aren't done. Um, I wish I could get a count on how many horses we have left to do. So, uh, spin this around. Yes, Chatty is Dr. Nancy's cat. Dr. Nancy's going to be hanging out with Chatty. Um, why is Dr. Nancy leaving? So, Dr. Nancy had some uh, family crises in her family. And uh, I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to tell you all, but uh, she was having to commute like 12 hours every weekend back to home to Virginia and it was just getting to be too much. So we are diligently looking for another full-time vet and we actually have one doing a working interview this week and then another one next week. So two options. Hopefully one of them works out. We're pretty confident one of them is. So yeah, but in the, in the, uh, if you don't want to, if you want to just kind of hang out with me, that's awesome. Yeah. Find a nice view here. And, uh, We've been on here almost two hours. This is the longest live feed that we've done, and we're gonna we're gonna do a uh, a proper goodbye for Dr. Nancy, you know. But she gave us a two month notice, gave us time to uh, line up some uh, other vets, and uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's sad. But um, how's my battery doing? I don't know. I don't know. Um, all I see is my YouTube live, so. <laughs> And I see that, uh, yeah, we're all going to miss Dr. Nancy tremendously. But I do see that we're at $691, so $309. And, uh, ooh, that'd be awesome. We hit $1,000. Um, all right, so more entertaining. So, uh, yeah, um, hold on. I, some, some are coming to mind. I'm not, a, I'm not like a, a comedian where I just have a set standard, this is my jokes. You know, I can, I can parrot some... Uh, some comedians. Uh, John Panette is one that I found entertaining. I like his uh, family-friendly ones. I don't like his uh, not family-friendly ones, but um, he likes eating and I like eating. But I mean, he's passed away now, but John Panette was pretty funny. Do you have any John Panette fans in here? I'm gonna be bringing boot camp to an auction. Yeah, so two weeks, three weeks, whatever. We're gonna be right back here. So at the auction for boot camp. So I don't think, I think we're going to be focusing more on rescuing a few horses and uh, letting boot camping people know how it works. You know, like more training them on how to do an auction, not trying to rescue like 50 horses because we can't rescue 35 now and then 50 in another couple weeks. I think that'd just be a little bit too much. Rascal Flats, Chris Stapleton, Reba McIntyre. Yeah, that'd be fun. 
um yeah there's there's a lot a lot of uh, a lot of options out there for celebrities that could come um yeah it's it's a tough decision hopefully the next vet is absolutely amazing and awesome why not some horses will cooperate paint some horse art you could do a whole competition pay a dollar vote for your favorite horse artist sounds pretty good um Let's see, they're walking behind me. I'm watching them walk. Rodney Dangerfield, I haven't heard that name for a while. Man. Um, yeah, there's there's just a lot of a lot of fun fun people out there. Tony's still back there. Oh, whoa. Hey, what's going on? Let's find out here. Do you think people would be willing to donate to be able to name a horse? Yes and no. Um, it does work well. It's hard to make sure that people are donating um they're just arranging panels down there they're going to be running the horses down into the trailer mm. so i made a uh, i'm going to talk cooking now because believe it or not i'm not a great cook but i do cook food from time to time as i have to i have very odd culinary likes tawny's coming over here to talk to me so 450 Yep. Um, oh, how are Glimmer's ears? Last I heard, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, looking a lot better. So, um, okay. So yesterday, I made a, a new dish. This was based off of a, a dish that one of our board members introduced us to many, many years ago. And it's kind of a cauliflower broccoli salad. So I uh, looked in our fridge yesterday, and uh, I can tell you all about an Amish auction I went to. I um, actually went to an auction the other day. But um, I'll finish my cooking story first. And uh, so I went to into the fridge and I pulled out a head of cauliflower and some little, uh, those little multicolored sweet peppers and just random things. And I uh, chopped it all up fine, put it in a bowl and then I put a can of garbanzos in there drained. Of course you wanna drain the garbanzos. And I <clears throat> put it all in a bowl and I put some creamy Italian in there and then some, uh, Actually, put some more balsamic in there just for a little bit more flavor. And uh, this ended up being a really amazing, like a fresh salad. And I ate it. Because, see, i got to start losing weight, all right? And uh, I've been partying for way too long. And uh, whether it's emotional eating or eating because it tastes good or eating because I'm hungry because I haven't eaten for five minutes, it's amazing how much food I can eat. So cucumbers would have been good in there. So basically it was cauliflower. Sweet peppers, I put in some, uh, what all did I put in there? Some garbanzos, tomatoes. I have a lot of fresh tomatoes. Yes, um, Marianne, we did evaluate the paint with halter damage. She's not the one that had to be put down. I, I can't predict her future, but her front legs are all messed up. But um, anyway, and this was just a really super good fresh salad. It had some uh, garbanzos in it for a little protein. And uh, that was super good. But um. The original, and, and I needed to put black olives in it, but I don't know if y'all looked at the price of black olives recently. They're like $3 a can, and I refuse. So, yeah, I, I'm not putting black olives in when they're $3 a can. But, uh, so that was super good. The original recipe was cauliflower and broccoli diced up with, like, maybe some fresh onion and some olives with Italian dressing. And that was really good, too, but uh, yesterday was so good. So I went to an auction, and we didn't share this with y'all because it didn't matter, but I went to uh, a vegan livestock auction. And uh, right about now, y'all are like, what in the world is a vegan livestock auction? So it was a Amish produce auction where they're selling their uh, uh, tomatoes and onions and potatoes and okra and apples and anything they can get, you know, anything they can harvest, they're selling there. And... Uh, melons all kinds of delicious melons oh it's so good so good and uh came back with like 30 pounds of tomatoes fresh tomatoes and i'm like posted on my facebook hey anybody want to buy some tomatoes so ended up giving away a bunch of tomatoes and some little sweet red peppers and blue potatoes i've never seen a blue potato before and uh the blue potatoes are still sitting on our counter because we cooked one and it didn't taste very good <laughs> so poor blue potatoes so, um, so Mar Maria, my uh, go-to for losing weight 
is one meal a day, which is so healthy for you. After three days when you're no longer dying and thinking you're going to just crawl into a grave and seal the lid, you actually get to a point where you feel better than you ever have. So I don't know why eating is so good and you eat yourself to where you realize that you should stop eating. But um, yeah, I every day, I, like I haven't regularly ate breakfast for, oh man, 10 years. But um, people are like, well, you're getting starvation mode. I'm like, well, if I get in starvation mode, I wouldn't have to spend so much money on food now, would I? So uh, <laughs> make mashed potatoes from the blue potatoes, blue potato salad. Thought about all this, probably gonna do it. Um, cucumber and red onion salad with sour cream and apple cider. Oh yeah, sounds so good. Um, uh, but yeah, one meal a day. Um, I don't like to call it keto because keto invokes images of literally just like raw meat burgers with cheese all over it and that's not what I eat. But um, it is low carb higher protein and fat than most people would think is, is acceptable. And I, the first time I did this, I went from, uh, I lost 40 pounds in 71 days, healthfully. Never felt better in my life. So, yeah. <clears throat> Intermittent fasting is great. You'll lose and keep it off. Yeah. Um, so, that's that's the plan. What? Black olives, only a dollar can of Massachusetts? Well, yeah. I know potatoes are high carbs, but it's kind of a healthy carb, especially if they're fried in French fries. No, French fries aren't healthy, but uh, yeah. The hardest part is, I think, social eating. And I know this is what alcoholics say. The hardest part is social drinking, right? So you're hanging out with your friends. Everybody's eating this amazing looking food. So you, can, you can't eat just one. And uh, uh, Pat and Debbie horsemanship. I don't know, how did we get onto food? Like here we're talking about horses and we start talking about food. If I just ate what the horses ate, I think I'd be a whole lot skinnier. But uh, anyway, we're waiting for, so they're loading just anybody who joins us and you're like, I have no idea what in the world is going on. Literally, they're loading the first trailer. We still have like seven or eight horses, I think, left to go through the assessment. So I'm hanging out talking to y'all. And uh, yeah, send a, uh, write a letter to Uncle Biden. If he's, if he's my uncle, he's definitely not sure. I don't even want to know whether he's on my mother or my father's side. Anyway, um, I could do a fasting diet and live off my own for I know, right? How is Mary's foot? So Mary had her surgery, and Mary's foot is doing great. Um, yeah, feel free to ask questions. Um, I cut oils as toxic depending on olive oil. Um... Yeah, Daisy, I also don't drink alcohol or smoke. I never drank alcohol in my life. I see that's awesome. You're over there suggesting names. Um, people wonder, you know, how, how do you get ahead in life? I've actually had kids, you know, hey, you know, how do you, how do you get ahead in life? It's like, well, if you don't spend 150 bucks a month on tobacco, that's 150 bucks on a car payment. That's 150 bucks on uh, buying assets. That's 150 bucks that you don't have to spend on it. Like, pescatarian, all right, cool. Why aren't you showing the horses? Okay, Ellen, the reason I'm not showing the horses is because we're loading the first trailer. We uh, hired a transporter and they're here. And uh, so we're loading the first trailer and then we're going to be finishing up. I, I think there's seven or eight left. I don't know for sure. Um, yes, uh, Carrie, we're both uh, plant-based. We were born and raised plant-based and that's just, we see no reason to change. Like I could, I could pontificate for a very long time on the advantages of a plant-based diet, but people who are, are people who aren't, aren't. And it's not my job to try to change people's opinion. It's just my job to do what I'm gonna do and just share how awesome it is. Angus, one of the draft horses should be named Angus. Jump on over on facebook.com forward slash horse humane. Find that draft horse in the name suggestions and suggest it and then copy that link and tell all your friends to vote for your name. Wow, Teresa, good morning from Oroville, California. Oroville is a town I know too well. <laughs> so Oroville is, yeah, I know, right? We're all supposed to be outside. I am outside. Um, we're gonna do a video on feedlots, possibly at some point in time soon. Um, but yeah, Teresa, thanks for joining from Oroville. That's, that was my hometown for many years. Heated oils are toxic. Um, so there is a level, they say, 
and I would love to know how they know, right? So I'm a naturally skeptical person when somebody says something like X, Y, Z, and they speak with great affinity and great assurance and great, you know, they're just so proud of their fact of, uh, for instance, uh, chairs up in Chico, cool. So when somebody tells me something like, oh, so if you heat your olive oil to 325 degrees, it becomes carcinogenic. Okay, really? How do, you, how do you know? They're like, well, it becomes bad for the body. How do you know? And this is the hardest thing with the human body is it takes so long for a negative, uh, you know, negative habit, negative food, negative whatever to actually negatively affect us. I mean, there's some things, obviously. You drink antifreeze, you're dead, right? Obviously, everybody knows that. You do drugs, you're in a horrible position. But how do we know? that it, you know, and this is a random number, at 325 degrees, that oil becomes carcinogenic. I don't know. And feel like, well, I, you know, I take antioxidants. I'm like, well, how do you know you're not supposed to be pro-oxidant? There's just so many things in life, and I think really what it comes down to is do the sensible thing, right? Everybody knows that even though Oreos are vegan, they're not healthy. So I hate my olive oil, so see me. I know, right? So everything in life is good or bad i mean there's some some things that are bad automatically but water's good for you but you drink too much you die that's what it comes down to right and that's that's pure water so uh lettuce is really good but if all you eat is lettuce you die of malnutrition so yeah i mean we eat veggie butter and boy howdy does walmart have some good veggie butters these days so um <clears throat> there's never been a better time in this earth's history to eat what makes sense for you and what makes sense for the animals. Um, I would think by now they're loaded, they're doing something down there. And if I walk down there to show you, are you going to talk about the Amish? Sure, I'll tell the story about the Amish auction again. So about 40 minutes from our house, there is a Amish food auction three times a week. And uh, Oh dear, I just made Naomi put Oreo in her PowerPoint instead of, <laughs> instead of something else. I bake all my food to boil it. Um, recently introduced to air fryer. Air fryers are pretty awesome. But um, there's an Amish produce auction. So they sell tomatoes, potatoes. They sell whatever they can grow, corn, apples, depending on what's in season. And um, a lot of like restaurants and things come down here, but you can buy like eight cantaloupes for 10 bucks. And it's like, wow, even if I can't eat all eight, if I eat four of them, that's still cheaper than buying them at Walmart. So um, got a ton of, got like $80 worth of produce down there. Filled up the trunk of a car. It was so great. And uh, that was like, uh, I was joking to people, like, well, this is like a vegan livestock auction. Because <laughs> it was, the end, they're auctioning it off. It's like you're buying a little box of potatoes or you're buying a box of tomatoes or you're buying a box of okra or white eggplant or blue potatoes. So anyway. Um, so yeah, Maverick, um, miss having a vet. So she's working with another vet. I don't know if you can see Mary Ellen down there. So she was working with another vet and they're under the barn where there's no good service. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully next month we're going to have a solution. I'll be able to walk anywhere and everywhere, at least in the area and actually be able to just do a really good, clear life. Um, somebody's asking if Maxine is from Scotland. Oh uh, yes, 35 saved last night. Um, I don't even want to know how many of those are going to need to be given the last act of kindness because I'm telling you what. So I went in there, sat down in the auction ring, you know, their tax sold. And then the first horse walks in, sad, skinny, bedraggled horse, rescued it. Second horse, sad, skinny, bedraggled horse, rescued it. Third horse fourth horse, fifth horse. We rescued like the first 10 or 11 horses because they all were skinny, bedraggled, just sad. And uh, Allah, thank you so much for your $10 donation. Um, yeah, and uh, even if all of them put down, it's worth it. It is, but boy howdy, it sure is nice to get horses that are like, yeah, this horse is in, in good condition. It's gonna go through quarantine. It's gonna. Going to the adoption program, it's going to make somebody so happy when they adopt it. Right? Because in the grand scheme of things, it makes a lot of sense to adopt horses that uh, 
you know, can go on to find homes. So we have to rescue every horse that needs us. So apparently they deep fry a lot in Scotland. Ah, let me tell you something that is good. Breaded and deep fried green tomato. Mmm. So I want to visit Scotland sometime. I'd love to go, go visit Scotland sometime. Definitely on my uh, bucket list of countries, but I have not been to Europe yet. And uh, it's all the way across the big pond. <laughs> deep fried chocolate bars. Well, there's some health food right there. Because a healthy mind is a, a happy mind is a healthy mind and you're happy when you eat deep fried chocolate bars, so. Ah, come to the west coast of Scotland. It's magical there. All right, cool. Cool. Might just take you up on that sometime. Um, none of them has to be put down, but that's not the reality in these actually It's not the reality. Like, I'm not the vet, but boy, how do some of these horses come through with broken legs and it's, you know, just bowed out horrible knees it's like why would we force them to stay alive in pain uh yorkshire dales probably i have not been to australia either we should have a horse plus fan party in australia that'd be fun yeah i could do that problem is it's like a 25 hour flight or something to australia i don't even know which way you go from the east coast of the united states because i imagine you don't fly to the west coast and then over hawaii and down but you might mm. Uh, Maxine says she's been to Las Vegas once, barely got out with her money. Well, you did better than most people. Most people go there rich and leave poor. Um, my father-in-law used to castrate his cats and animals around the house. I got so mad because there's a bit when I found out it horrified me. Why is the doctor leaving in October? She uh, had some. Oh, little Stevie is talking to us. Little Stevie says he wants some fried pickles. I agree with him. So Dr. Nancy's leaving in October because she has she has some family crisis going on and it was just too much for her. She's having to commute like 12 hours every weekend to come uh, come hang out with us. So she gave us two. We are extremely grateful. Oh man, she is like. And we have one vet doing a working interview here this week and then another one next week and hopefully we will uh, be able to choose and have another awesome full-time vet. And then also, you know, maybe they can start and uh, it's just we don't go without a vet for any time. That'd yeah, be, would be that would be so ideal. So is it loaded? Are we loaded up there? The first group is en route. All right. So that means, of course, should be bringing a horse down here soon. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell at Corey, tell him he's got to get busy because I'm waiting down here. We still have 885 people watching. Pe 885 people wanted to listen to my ramblings. We talked about produce auctions and, uh, oh, man, my favorite recipes. Wait, let me put nine on that first trailer. Well, there's draft horses. Gotcha. You took the biggies. All right, cool. Because um, it's supposed to be like a 28-foot trailer. Yeah. Draft horses took up a huge section. Okay. So, nine horses on the first trailer. Um, uh, Caitlin, well, we do have a really good stable hand guy right now. So, we're hoping he stays around for the next 20 to 30 years. Would be great. But, um, you never know. We might just need somebody. You can always send your resume then. Exactly. All right. Law just donated another $10. Yay. I think. Let's All right, one of my favorite recipes is curry chickpeas, otherwise known as garbanzos for the people in other parts of the world. Curry is good. I don't cook with it a lot, uh, you know, but uh, I'm more of the uh, ketchup goes on everything but bananas kind of guy. But um, I wonder if you can explain why there are so many minis. Is there overpopulation generally of them? You've heard of there being too many minis? In different areas so if you look at the dog and cat world you can get a lot of same information the horses are just like 25 years behind the dog and cat in the welfare world um, so like out west like say Oregon miniature horses get adopted bam 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 because there's like not very many of them out there places like you know here in Tennessee and stuff like we do get a lot more than other places so kind of just regional areas some have a lot some don't and that's basically from breeding programs 
and, and things in the area and, and what their interest was. But out west, um, they get adopted out a lot faster because there's not, you can't just go to an auction and buy 20 of them. Cool. So it's just regional. So hey, look at this. Gordy's got a horse and uh, the doctors are looking at the horse and uh, see what happens when the horse comes up here. So if somebody's donating, my uh, screen is like blurring everything together, but um, the normal chats are doing just fine. Never had garbanzos. Can you put ketchup on curry? I mean, you could, but that's just like, that's a little civil war going on. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be putting ketchup on curry. I'm gonna take a drink here really quick, y'all. Vegemite. Anyone ever, you ever know what Vegemite is? You ever heard of Vegemite? I, I might have had Vegemite, yes. So 717 has been raised. Um, so we still need $223. And we're, we're still running at a deficit for our organization from uh -huh. the same time last year. Now, I opened up and kind of let our followers know because I kept thinking month after month, like, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And just every month our donations were just down and, like, really hard to make all the ends meet. So I opened up and let our followers know where we were at financially and like Big Red died and like how are we going to haul horses from the auction and um, so we were at a 30% deficit from the same time last year when I opened up about the financial strain on the organization and our amazing supporters stepped up like we were able to get a new truck so we it's out there in the in the parking lot right now ready to haul horses and um, Y'all took us from a 30% deficit to a 9% deficit. So we're still running at a deficit from the same time we were last year. So your donations are really important. Um, you know, from the same month last year, we're at a deficit from that, that month, like last August. So your support is really appreciated. I'm really hoping that we can get enough to get out of the deficit and then get our whole full grant program up and going and, and, and things. But we're trying to do as much as we can with the donations that come in. And as you can see, we do a lot. So I just want to thank you for your support and just remember that um, your donations do make a difference. All righty. So some people were saying they couldn't hear Tani very well. I apologize for that. But um, she tried her best. But uh, Kristen, thank you so much for your $50 donation. So another Jean donated 20 Thank you guys so much. We're at 787 so two hundred and like thirteen dollars. So, all right, y'all were talking in another language, even though it looked like it was English. People were like I'm a Kiwi, but I still like Vegemite. That to me is like I don't know. I could have been speaking Greek or something. Which the Greek also like garbanzos, but um, uh, Vegemite plus Marmite. I have no idea what y'all are talking about. But uh, yeah, I mean I could give you recipes that would make you turn your nose up at me, but uh, that's good. Most people could hear. Oh, now promite. So how many mites? Is this like just the food of mites or something? Like, where y'all get this stuff from? Um, yeah, to, uh, this, uh, let's see, Maria says she's a dog rescuer. It's very hard up in Ontario, Canada. Becky, thank you for your 50 Whoa, well, wait, what just happened? Whew. All right, so Becky donated 50, then Connie donated 50, then Sari donated 20. We're at 907, y'all. Only $93 left to go. Ah, so is Kiwi a person from New Zealand? I'm just curious. Like, I really actually don't know. Okay, Kiwi means they're from New Zealand. So New Zealand is also, it's actually way up higher than Scotland, probably. No offense to Scotland. I'd love to visit New Zealand. Oh, all three are spreads from Australia. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I know what termites are. They eat wood. They're bugs. They're bad bugs. Um, 907. I have you just blasting from the speaker, so I'm here regardless. Good deal. Yep, small donations, five ten dollars make a huge difference. So what the? This horse I did post on Facebook. Maybe if you, yeah, I did post this horse on Facebook uh, last night. Um, it was one of the ones I said safe. It had a bandage wrapped around its leg, um, and it looked like it, it healed under the bandage. Um, so Dr. Nancy just took it off, but it does have a crooked uh, front leg. It's a crooked front leg, all beat up, like wounds all over this horse. This poor horse. 
that's what's going on. I'm like, man, everything seems zoomed in. It was zoomed in. Uh huh. My bad, y'all. <laughs> it's been a long 140 minutes, but I've been I've been having fun hanging out with you guys. Oh, back up to almost 900 people. Well, we got more coming, so. We should be getting down to like five left or something, aren't we? Like Anyone knows? Um, we're gonna need to run down on the stud and one more to catch. We got. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, oh, Tony says I'm in the picture. I'm always in the way too. Haley's never in the way. Haley is the way. Oh, oh, she's ninja. She says ninja. Uh, all Haley has to do is stand behind Corey, then she's not in the way. Corey's in the way. <laughs> Can you show me? Can you keep showing me even though you're out like five? I don't know what you're asking. All right, Vegemite and Marmite are yeast extract spreads, very strong taste, and this little goes a long ways. Station love or hate, there's no in between. Becky, thank you for your $50 donation. Folks, we're down to $43. We're going to hit $1,000. Somebody has got to donate $43 or more. More would be great. But we are like, ooh, we're so close. I didn't think we were going to do it. Y'all, I, I, uh, I was losing hope, and here we are at 957. 900 people watching. $43 to go. All right, by the time Corey gets back, oh, now we're at uh, 957. So, yep, $43. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep filming. Yep. No, we're going to we're going to keep filming. No, we're, we're here until we're ready to load our horses. So, we already sent one out, but um yeah, unless my phone dies, it's not going to overheat today because it's such beautiful weather. It's just like the best weather we've had. It's like the best auction weather we've had all year. It's like so pleasant and not too hot, not too cold. I mean, it's just Gentle perfect. breeze blowing it's through. Oh, just perfect. No flies. I don't know how we got so fortunate today. <laughs> so Connie donated 20 then Shannon donated 10 and we're at $13. Yes. YouTube donates a hundred percent of the donations. So, all right, Pickett and Bennett donated ten. Um, what nine ninety nine point ninety two? Ah, Nicolette put us over. Thank you so much. Twenty two ninety nine, and I have no idea what currency, but thank you so much. Now YouTube just says one thousand. It doesn't say like 1,049. Hey so, awesome. th this is a little Arabian horse. <coughs> oh, another gray Arabian, but oh, this one is in a much poorer condition. All right, y'all want to see the horses? Okay. Well, skinny sway back. Mmm, so sad. Oh, boy, B, how did you end up here? All righty. So, then Becky donated another 50. So, thank you guys so much. Now, aren't there like poisonous snakes and spiders in Australia? Yes. But we also have poisonous snakes and spiders in Tennessee. Jason just asked me if I wanted to ever go to Australia. And I was like, there's a lot of snakes and spiders in Tennessee. And he's like, yeah, there's a lot of them. And I was like, oh, well, you should go to Australia. Ah, yeah, same as Tennessee. Um, somebody asked a, a question on fan page. Thank you for your donation. Um, does YouTube take a portion of the donations? No, YouTube gives 100% of the donation. They pass 100% on, so we raise $1,000, we're going to get all $1,000. Yes, all right. mm. New Zealand has no snakes. Oh, that's cool. Keep it that way. We have these things called, I think they're called anacondas down in Florida. And uh, so he's so, so got cancer. Mm. Yes, yeah, Steve keeps. Has cancer. Um, yep, the source has cancer. Am I supposed to come no, show everybody? Okay, I'm not going to come show everybody. Yeah. I made it to 57 years old, and I'll show you without getting bit, so it can't be too bad. So, the outback of Australia is very intriguing to me because you have like a thousand miles of absolutely nothing. But it's also very dry, and I'm not a huge fan of dry places. But uh, Australia's got some cool stuff going on.
did the Belgium say to the Clyde Stale with the very freaky feet? This is normal for my species, dude, where you run through snow. Oh, boy. What? I can't. I'm holding where you can see. Oh, just being, it's gross. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, poor, poor horse. This is what happens when those melanomas rupture out. When your vet has warned you that when it reaches a certain point, they will rupture. This is a, unfortunately, a... So this is ruptured melanomas. Prime example. And unfortunately, this is not just like fresh yesterday. This has been like this a little while. Her Coggins originated it in a market in Kentucky in January. So mm -hmm. she's been through at least two, that one and this one, since then. Yep. I have a pinlock needed. Yeah, I want to. Okay, I've got a pinlock. Yes, the horse has cancer. And melanomas are busting, and oh, it's just sad. So sad. So I don't mind spiders. I actually like spiders. I don't kill them needlessly. I don't like poisonous spiders to humans. But, um, or, you know, brown recluse or fiddlebacks or any of those characters. But a good little garden spider, you know how many bugs they eat? Yeah, I don't like bugs either. So let the spider eat the bugs. Let nature live in peace. Thousand dollars, you guys are amazing. Yeah. There, the vets are getting excited now. <clears throat> so, you know, veterinary medicine, they, they get excited when they see things they're not used to. And it's not that they're excited but the to see it, has it. Right. That they can help this animal or they can learn how to help more animals. Future. It's furthering their education, is yeah. what it comes down to. Medical thing, as a vet, at Horse Plus, you see crazy, crazy things all the time. No, no, I don't like dealing with spiders. I just let them live, unless they, you know, can't. But yeah. Sugar, thank you so much for your $10 donation. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So my phone is down to 37%. Somebody's asking. I just checked. My uh, YouTube started jerking. I wasn't sure what that was about, but um, I don't want to know. So I was able to put my finger in this spot. Mm. There's... Uh, no remaining melanoma that I can feel, but it's just full of pus. pus. Uh, it has not perforated into the rectum. That's another thing that can happen. It can abscess mm -hmm. out Sorry, immediately. Baby. So at least we don't have you that going on, but leave. this is... That's nasty. It's nasty. Yeah, and she probably has a lot of them. Yeah, so somebody asked if it's gone to the point of going, going exploding. Does that indicate it be throughout the inside? Yeah. Uh, a lot of these will actually have a lot internally as well that you uh -huh. won't be able to see. And if they're rupturing inside, that, yeah. Yeah, oh, sad. All righty. And that's one, one thing to really always remember is, like, you might see a picture of one of the horses that we post up and then you find out it gets euthanized and there are some people that get upset well number one if we weren't here you wouldn't even know about that horse and yep. we're rescuing them we're telling their stories we're putting ourselves out there for criticism because somebody could look at that picture of the skinny horse and be like well it's just skinny why didn't they take care of it this horse has open cavities from cancer rupturing and that can be also cancer internally so you know, always take things with a grain of salt, watch, learn, don't jump to conclusions because, you know, when, when the episode comes out, we're going to be telling you know, these stories of why these horses, you know, a lot of them need euthanasia and their owner should have done it a long time ago. Um, but, you know, one thing when I'm going here to the auctions, I'm telling people about the buyout program. I told somebody about it this morning. They're like, really? That's great. And, you know, if we can prevent horses from ending up in situations like this, you know, I'm sure the horse is old. A lot of people loved it through its life. 
the last person who loved that horse didn't do right by that horse because they gave it away or they did something where it's fallen through the cracks. And we see so many horses like this, but our job as rescuers and advocates for these horses is to do the very best for each and every horse we can. And if that's loving them and saying goodbye and ending their suffering, then that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So we've gotta be getting down to the end. Been down here for two and a half hours hanging out with y'all. Thank you guys for spending your morning, afternoon, day, whatever with me. And the uh, staff here at Horse Plus. Um, no, Corey said, oh, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh, I thought he said he was running it down. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, we got a stud horse, a mature stallion here. And, uh, is it possible for a rescue to take horses after they get to a slaughterhouse? I mean, the slaughterhouse is there to slaughter them, but yeah, they're they're out of the country, so. Um, so once they cross the border, I mean, it's impossible. The best thing is to get them at auctions before they end up uh, heading down the slaughter pipeline more. But, um, you know, basically the USDA will tag them as slaughter bound, and then there's nothing you can do. Uh -huh. um, but getting these horses at auction before they, they get to the borders. And a lot of these horses wouldn't, wouldn't even make it to the border. They would die on the trailer, and I've seen plenty of documentation of horses dead on slaughter trucks um there was a news article well, it was from a news helicopter and they were showing horses and they're like people are abandoning horses in the desert and these horses had auction tags on and i'm like i know exactly what happened they got to the border those horses got rejected the transporters he's like, walking well, away with I the horse thing they take pictures of i don't i don't want them I'm not gonna haul them back to my feed lot. So he just pulls off in the desert, opens a trailer, shoves them off into the desert where they have no food, no water, uh -huh. and they wander off and they die. And it's <clears throat> the problem in the United States. We have such a broken system, it's, it's enormous, but there's a lot of great organizations that are working with us that are part of the Full Circle Life Force Shelter Network that we're building. And together we can put an end to this, but it's sadly not gonna happen overnight. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, so this is a, uh, a stallion and a uh, fly eating bats and a meat on my. Uh, hard to light a candle. He's the curse of the darkness. I like that saying. Go hang out with the draft. I could, but then you all wouldn't be able to see because it'd probably get blurry. Um, that's a pretty draft. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I don't know if that one's ours or not. At this point, I don't know. Probably isn't. But, uh, Tawny's getting her photos up there. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna sneak up there. I, I'm, I'm assuming y'all ain't gonna be able to see much. You bet. Pretty horse. Dr. Nancy's saying he's got lameness though. That's so sad. Alrighty, so they're uh, they're just talking about that horse. Is that the last horse? Not the last horse, okay. Well, not the last horse. Um, so we've raised 1,100 plus dollars and uh, YouTube is starting to be very jerky for me. So I think it's saying you have been on here a long time. <laughs> All right, so that's the stallion. So we're not gonna bring him down here if you'll get excited. He does have some pretty significant lameness problems. So he's gonna have to be out best for him. Yeah, that's sad. Um, can we see Steve again? I don't know where little Stevie is. Stevie's, Stevie's way down. Service. Yeah. Uh, the is, is Somebody's like, I should go to bed. But. Uh, 
they're doing an interview, so I can't really talk right now. Now I'm tripping over stuff, trying to walk backwards. So y'all, is it jerking really bad for everyone? Or is that just my screen? Because it's literally like majorly jerking for. Oh. All right, I make a uh, killer hummus with white beans tahini. Can't do. Oh, I like hummus, but sesame seed butter tahini, I just, I can't do it. Yeah, it is jumping a bit. Okay. If you want to come say bye to everybody, because like, look, look what my phone is doing. Like, it's it's just dying. It's it's. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So. All right, everyone. Just want to thank you all so much for your support, and um, we got a lot of horses, and we're gonna get them back to the shelter and get everything they need. And again, thank you so much for raising a thousand dollars on YouTube. That's amazing, and uh, hope you have a wonderful and great day. Yep. So, all righty, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hundred and fifty. 56 minutes, $1,100 raised. There's a, maybe a couple more horses. Phone's throwing a fit. It's about to die. Something's happening. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And uh, love you guys. We'll see you next time. And uh, Horse Shelter Heroes is coming out tomorrow night. And it's going to be a good one. So thank you guys so much.